wait, there's a complete untapped market that is parents that have Amazon Prime accounts, but they don't know what Twitch is, so they're not using their free Prime every month. Mm. If you have parents with a Prime account, get on their account and subscribe to us on Twitch with that free Prime. They're not going to even notice. That's huge. It's free. Yeah, it's free. It's <laughs> free money for us. Yeah, it's free. They're, they're auto-logged in. Just go to Amazon. <laughs> There's this path or there's making better content that incentivizes more people to subscribe. What are you, stupid? Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is the dumbest thing you've said all day. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to another episode of Forehead Fables with uh, me and Poob again. Yep, just the two of us. Yep. Uh, before we get into the meat and taters of this, I do have some questions for you that depending on whether or not you answer them correctly determines whether or not you keep your employment here um oh, on the project zomboid server that we've been playing do you know what happened to my green car um green car uh wait um no the only car that I ever got in that functioned was a black truck. You never heard anybody I, talk about a green car. I think I heard some people talking about a green card, but no, not a green card does not ring a bell. And I can tell you who gave me the black truck if you want to know. I don't, I mean, I'm, I don't, not I'm not, a, I'm not a, out here for every car, just a very particular green car. Did you hear no. anything about anyone talking about plans that me and Fungal had? I did hear that. I did hear some plans to, once again, not a narc, but I did hear some guy talking about um, you were going to bring a zombie, that you were gone, and, okay, and I can't tell you how I got this information. <laughs> okay, I was kind of creeping around, I was kind of stalking people, and I got close to your base, and I heard some very interesting things um, about, they said, be careful of Sam and Fungal, they're going to bring a zombie horde straight to this base. Okay. And who was saying that? And the voice sounded American. Okay. And that's about as much as there was a lot of voices in there I didn't recognize. Even some old friends I didn't recognize at first because some people were almost doing voices or something. You know, it's some RP. Okay. It could have been, it could have easily been B Torrent. It could have been. B Torn has a history. Okay, he has a history of narking. He has a history of ratting people yeah, out. And I'm not just I I'm I I don't remember that and I'm trying to get the heat off me. I think that could have been him. Okay. Nothing about a green car. No, and and no tellings of where they whoever the mystery man talking about your plans, they didn't give a source or how they knew it. I feel like they might have, and you're just saying that as an additional thing. No? no, I didn't hear. I listen. I'm all ears, okay, but I didn't hear nothing that would be directly incriminating for anyone on the server. Okay, all right, that's that's it. That's all I got. Those for, are the two questions. Those are the two questions. Because, dude, I'm telling you, me and Fungal. By the time this comes out, this is not going to be relevant anymore. But me and Fungal, we worked day and night on Zomboid to womp, womp. yeah to to be able to craft uh, car bombs and remote detonate them. We stole a green cool. ranger car from a uh, muscle bus uh, compound and we, we had planted, we had created the, the car bomb first. Then we were like, we need the remote detonator so we can actually blow it up. So, but first we had the pipe bomb. We're like, well, what if we die when we go out to make the remote? So we're going to keep it safekeeping on the bottom side of the car. So we, we clicked it onto the bottom side. Nobody would know. Nobody should know that that bomb is there Are on the bottom streaming? side of the car. That's, that's an issue. I was streaming at the time. It could have been anybody. Yeah. It could have been anybody. But we, we get off. Next morning, car's gone. There's 15 fucking cars outside of our, uh, outside of our base. Suspiciously tried to move every single car in the pile just to get that one green car that had the bomb on it. Then we find the green car and the bomb's missing. 
Somebody not only got the car, but knew the bomb was there and took it off. This is, this is, somebody is fucking with our plans, dude. Somebody's fucking yeah. with our plans. There's somebody here in the group, the Discord group, not only is actively trying to foil our attempts at car bombing, but is like using underhanded screen peeking tech. Yeah. Are you kidding me? If you've played video games for any length of time, screen peeking is the lowest of the low. That's like, you, you know, you play GoldenEye with a friend. If, they, if you even catch them looking at your screen, it's like, dude, what the fuck? Dude? You're not going to, you're not even going to get any Pringles when I go to the pantry later and get Pringles. Like, I'm just going to yeah, uh, keep them myself. Just like a litmus test or whatever of like, are you a person that can do the simplest thing? Yeah. And, you know, are ethically. You, do you have even a little bit of a heart? Yeah. It's like there's the people that don't return the shopping cart to the, the shopping cart holder are the same people that sh screen peek. You know, yeah. it's uh, yeah. I've seen some people go like, hey, dude, I have a piece of cardboard that I tape up the middle of the screen so that no screen peekies. Like, that cardboard shouldn't even be something that needs to be fabricated. Yeah. You're playing with You should with be thieves. keeping better company. Yeah, is what it should be. And, uh, and I. It's, I, I really, I just need to find out who this snake is so I can cut him out of the Discord and ruin his entire social life. When I find out who it is, it's over. Oh, it's over. You might have to trim the grass to get rid of the snakes. I might. You know what I mean, yeah, I might. And I, it's not a good look that the character I was playing, I kept saying, look, I look like Bomb Voyage. I'm a bombs expert. I had no fucking idea there was even bombs in the game. I'm not going to lie, I didn't even know that was an aspect. Very cool. A lot cooler than bringing a zombie horde, which was the rumor, because, I mean, that's like, anyone what? can do that. Baby's first zomboid server? Yeah. no, That's I... exactly what I did my first zomboid <laughs> server last time. Yeah, I tried to get as many zombies as I could to fuck with people. Yeah. And then I think Stolt just killed them all in like five seconds. I'm like, okay, that was, yeah, it's, that was fun. Yeah, it's like leading a bunch of lambs to the slaughter. You're not... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, you know... Your experience with Stalt there leading a horde to him, he just massacres it. The, that first night when our goddamn car got stolen, I hit Stalt with a box truck, like a U-Haul box truck. He skitters across the ground and then stands up and goes, watch where you're going, and walked away. You better drive. The guy, I feel, he has to have like hacks on or something. Like there's no way. And he seemed pretty mad when I hit a bunch of people with the car, but you do it. You hit him with the box truck, it's no hard feelings. Yeah, well. And then when I hit him with the car, he came back and ran me over and killed me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Car, car, car. Oh! Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! Oh my god. I'm somehow unhurt. I'm somehow unscathed. Help! Help! Oh, you need help? Keep moving! Oh, shit! What? You good? <laughs> I don't even know if I hit him. I just was kind of blindly, you know, going. Yeah. I didn't really know what was, what was happening. Well, he's, uh, Stalt has let his allegiance be shown. Uh, last night, we uh, torched Charborg with a flamethrower. Yeah. And uh, Stalt burned our entire base to, to the ground, apparently, after, after we uh, left. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think he's kind of team Charborg. Apparently. Okay. Well, it's kind of weird, weird, but that is kind of weird because they're just like road narcs yeah. running a toll booth. Yeah, um, there fun. is there has been an issue though. I think with it's like you know it's fun to stream those kinds of things, but then the people that the screen peekers, yeah, because I was having a lot of fun. I was following Booty and Yeb around and just going. Ugh. They had no idea I was there, and they, they the funniest part was you know they were new too, and they'd be like, "Do you hear that zombie?" Like, it's getting closer. At one point, I just said straight up, brains. And they were like, whoa. Like, thought it was a real zombie. And then, like, an hour later, I find them again. And I make the smallest, like, Ugh. Peanut says, I think I hear a zombie. And they're like, that's just poob. And they sounded, like, disappointed in me. Yeah. And also, it's like, my spot in the shadows, it's like a goddamn you know, spotlight just hit me. And all of a sudden I'm not this funny little guy. I'm like this kind of weird pervy creep. Yeah. That they're like, oh, they're tired of me. They know I'm out there. Cause somebody went in their chat and said, you know, that zombie that's following you. That's actually a man. It's actually your friend, man. That's fucked it's up. It's like, yeah. 
what do they get out of that? There's nothing lower than uh, than th- that's the modern day equivalent of screen peeking. That's just yeah, the Twitch chatters lowest of the low. I've had to go dark. I I have Pip. We're having a fucking Pip. recording. Yeah. He probably is just looking at you going like he does not like who's, it. No, who's does sitting not like in the chair. It. He tried to bite my leg when I first put it on, so. This freak is on his computer. <laughs> master, master, come. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to lie. It scares all in the house. And you were right. The funniest part is, like, there is an insane amount of padding right here. It makes the head uh, a temperature you've never felt before. And it also, it's like, Gremlins' heads aren't tall. They're wide. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Gizmo's head is wide. Yeah. And is, I feel like the eyes are the most important part, <laughs> like big fake eyes. No, you look like, look like yeah, you uh, look like a water buffalo or something, but without yeah. the horns. Well, they said it was movie quality. So, I mean, what am I going to do? Yeah. So the, the ears, I do think, are a good touch that they can move. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's definitely got, like, they cared when yeah. they put this together. <laughs> now it's, I'm feeling what I'd almost describe as heart palpitations. <laughs> the longer I sit in this, the, the more warm I get all over. Yeah. Um, but I just realized, I guess I could unbutton near the crotch a little bit. Let some, my belly is so sweaty already. Five minutes I've been in this. Uh, let me check mine. Oh, still got the oh, abs. Shit. Yeah, there's yeah, actually, cool. I actually feel great. Those Sexy are Sexy gambit. Well, I kind of had to put a little work in at the gym in order to get these. The, the face thing is also giving you like crazy cheekbones with the shadows. Yeah, that's cool. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God, it's the Rizzler. <laughs> the Rizzler. Oh Never noticed. God. I had Never noticed. noticed. Yeah. No, it's not cheekbones. My fucking stupid fat boy dimples. Then it, they play. Yeah, it plays with yeah. the shadows. It plays and it the seems shadows like too. I got high inserted cheekbones. You got some Jim Carrey action. Uh, nah. Also, the headband is so funny. I mean, it's just the placement of it is hilarious. It's. Uh, yeah, the hairline's the supposed part. to start right, there, right about there. You got some. Uh, it's like the fuck you look like you got this <laughs> thing on. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> if you wore this, you would straight go out of the fucking camera. Oh. Oh man, dude, I've been having a blast on Zomboid though, and it, oh. it is a damn shame that uh, <laughs> I did not realize the face just popped off. Yeah, I gotta put it off a little bit because it is getting <laughs> steamy. I gotta be think about sustainability. Yeah, I gotta yeah. think about this. Gonna be an hour and a half at least. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so I'm, it's fun. It's one of those games though where I need to like actually play it on my own because I keep coming in that server mm. and then everyone's full kitted and knows exactly what they're doing. And you know, I'm just like walking around reading books. No, what you need to do is you need time. to socialize. You need to get. You need to find a, a stalt. You need to find somebody that knows what they're doing and then piggyback off them. Because, uh, yeah, you know, but, I got fungal. I, I just go like, hey, fungal, I've brought the canned marinara sauce. Here you go. And he goes, thanks for the food, boss. And he's over there working on the schematics. And do you think I built that car bomb? You think I figured out how to do that? Maybe, no. I mean, you've played a lot of that game. Absolutely I not. I have no idea how to build that shit. Oh. I, I simply, I drive him from place to place, and I, I had to drive him out into the middle of nowhere so he could sit there and train mechanics on random cars out in an intersection somewhere. I didn't know what the hell was going on. I was just like, oh, boss, let me know when you got your brain bigger, and then we can go build that yeah. car bomb. It just sucks I mean, that it got yanked out from underneath me. It's, I made the mistake that in the first five minutes of me playing, I ran into you and Lisa, but I didn't let you know I ran into you. I hid in a bush and I watched you and I was like, guys, I'm going to golem them. I'm going to totally follow them around. And then you guys got in a car and drove off and I didn't see another person for like two hours because I started going the wrong direction after that. Uh, you guys really Stupid. led me on a wild goose chase. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You guys just drove very quickly and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> and I was like, guys, guys, nobody could hear me. <laughs> no. And then it, I was just it's alone. The solo is, uh, you guys killed no. all the fucking zombies in like a five mile radius too. So I was walking around seeing nothing, <laughs> Not, no people, no zombies. It was just, it was empty. I, uh, I'm very impressed with some of the people. It's very top heavy. If you look at the leaderboards, there's like three people that have done 99% of the work. 
and uh you know just like real life you know there's yeah. every company has like yeah. three workers that really do everything and then the rest are just kind of skating by and uh i i have gotten into hand to hand conflict with maybe 10 zombies and they've bitten me eight <laughs> times out of 10 and i just yeah. once you get bit once it's over with you die you know yeah so. i died i i crashed my car into a pole and then a bunch of zombies came and then while I was crying out for help, Stolt ran me over with his car. <laughs> so. When it rains, and it, it pours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which, by the and way, I, is funnier, too, because he's one of the few people that was 100% capable of saving you in that scenario. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. Well, he was, like, the last guy I needed to show up because <laughs> he somehow knew it was me that hit everyone with that truck. Yeah. I really liked uh, Ghost. He was a good... I, I think I genuinely scared the shit out of him. Because I was stalking you guys, and I hid in a house, and he walked in solo and was in the bathroom washing up, and I had an empty gun, <laughs> but I had the bullets in my other hand, so you could tell I had bullets and a gun. It'd be hard to tell. Yeah. And I put it right to the fucking back of his head, <laughs> and I tried to stick him up, and he, I got a can of peas, and then I hid in another house. I'm like, I should ask for way more. I should have got his gun. I should have got his gear. But you got a can of peas from him? That was your... Yeah, and then yeah. I didn't have a can opener because I was like, I'm feeling a bit peckish, punk. <laughs> and he gave me that and ran off, and I was just living off the high of like, oh my God, he could have killed me. You know, he just... He thought I had a real gun. That was probably and trash then, to him. That was probably... Yeah. <laughs> he probably gave you the yeah. the least of his Well, then stuff. I asked for a car, and he gave me a, that black truck. And oh, okay. That's pretty good. I was just like, what are you doing in this game? Just run everyone over, probably. That'd be funny. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't that satisfying. <laughs> they just all got up. Yeah, I just hit them, yeah. and they just kind of rolled rolled over and got up. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, if I it makes you feel any better, Ghost has met a very kind of funny, like, not a demise, but he's he's been lowered. So oh. we've left him basically homeless, and he's got, he's got nothing to fall back on in Zomboid for the audience at home. You can, it's like one of the best RPGs. Like you, as you go, like if you, if you're doing uh, first aid, you get better at first aid. If you are fishing, you get better at fishing. If you can find books on fishing, you can read them and your guy will learn how to fish better and faster. And, uh, if you do that for like, you know, five IRL days and your guy has a lot of skills built up, you can build this like journal where your guy can like write down all of his skills so that if you do die, you can go find that journal again, stash it somewhere, and read your journal and your, you know, because when your character dies, he turns into a zombie and just walks away, you know? So yeah. if you can find your journal again, you can relearn all your previous skills and get back to where you started. I, I, could, I was led off on a separate trail where I was led to the conclusion that Ghost had stolen my green car with the bomb in it. And I don't think so. So I pressed Muscle Bust. And he gave me Ghost's journal, his mm. basically life experience. Yeah. And he gave me that journal so that I could use it as leverage in the future with Ghost to get the car back. Because Muscle Bus thought Ghost had the car. And then I put the journal in the, the, uh, my house. And I then got more information, which led me to believe Ghost was not implicated at all in the stealing of that car. And then... Um, and then Stolt burned my house down, so that journal is 100% gone. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know that was a mechanic. That's his, insane. his entire life experience has been reduced to ashes. And I'm pretty sure he Muscle Bus packed up all of his stuff, put it in the back of a Winnebago, and drove off into the countryside without <laughs> Ghost. And so Ghost is homeless, and he doesn't have his life experience journal, and he's just kind of wandering around. Uh, it just just completely takes one bad rudderless. Day. Yeah. yeah. You can go from on top of the world to homeless, so very quickly, very quickly. Never mind. Yeah, uh, but playing that game though has made me realize that uh, it's honestly in, in a zombie apocalypse, I would be gone in an instant. I would, I would probably be at the very beginning of each zomboid server. You're like, oh, whoopee, the power's still on. You can eat ice cream out of the freezer, and yeah, and then you can, you know, Does the power go off after a certain after time? like three days. The the power grid. Yeah goes off and all the food starts spoiling and then you're like oh shit that's when things get real and that's when probably i would give up in real life but of course my character yeah. has a you know mentally 
He's actually not stronger. I just keep him doped up on antidepressants. <laughs> I raided a pharmacy, and believe it or not, a lot of the stuff in the pharmacy can keep you going for quite some time. If you're just, I took painkillers. I thought it'd be like Tarkov when I broke my leg. I thought I would just be able to run again, no. and uh, I popped like five of them, and then had just a morsel of hope. And then Stolt once again, he hit me with that car. Painkillers did nothing to keep that car from hurting you, right? No, yeah. no. I guess you need like good gear and. Yeah. If I had an assault rifle or something, I probably would have just mowed everyone down. I was, which is no fun you, for anyone. You but. think that? Go get a gun in that game and try to kill somebody. I found a pistol within five minutes. Didn't have the magazine. I'm like, this game sucks. Okay, I didn't know you had to have like every little point. You can't even put one in the chamber. <laughs> no, I think so, I think you can civil war it. I think you can just put one in the chamber. I couldn't figure out how to do that and. My best hope was I had five bullets in one hand and I had a hammer at one point. Yeah. I thought maybe I could put that up to someone and hit the back of it really hard or <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Uh, just I, I know there has to be a way to, to do like one bullet in the chamber because the last thing that we did before I got off last night was uh, I got bit by a zombie in my hand. Uh, just the one zombie I tried fighting. I, th I, I saw an old woman and I said, hey. I think I could take her. This lady's like yeah, a night. She's like fair. a 90 year old zombie. And of course she fucking bit my hand. So goddamn bad. And, yep. um, and so we collectively decided we got to do surgery. There is, there's a mod called the only cure. And the only cure is you can amputate your hand or your arm. If you get bit, that's and, cool. And it keeps you from turning into a zombie. So we, uh, we cleared out a restaurant we found, put a generator in the restaurant so that then we could turn on the lights and we could turn on the stove. And, uh, and then the, the series of events that you have to do is fucking insane. We pilfered a pharmacy to get a bunch of like medical supplies, which includes like a uh, string. Uh, you need a needle, like suture kit. Um, we got a bunch of morphine, an IV kit. Uh, you need a bone saw which uh, I think we had one of those in the Winnebago. That's what we're living out of right now, Winnebago. Yeah. Um, and basically, yeah, they, I had like four people operating on me. They cut off my arm. Someone else sutured it. Someone else disinfected it. And then I had to hold my arm onto the stove, which was red hot in order to cauterize the whole thing, and then have people dope me up with morphine and <laughs> make sure my wound didn't get infected. Uh, it's so in depth. Oh, and then we got yeah. a prosthetic arm. I have a. Pro I'm like, That's Evil Dead style. So I got a prosthetic yeah. arm. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, it doesn't. It's. I want to learn more about the game because it is so in depth, but also it's so, like, much that it's very overwhelming when you don't know anything. Like, yeah. I don't even know where you guys are getting like assault rifles, and I I, I, I went through that. maybe fifty houses. I never found one gun. Well, it's because you're the in the house. The only houses. gun I found was on a dead body that someone just left. Yeah, you're you're in the houses. You need to go to the police precinct. I don't know where shit. Or is. the I mean, there's like like uh like national or like the reserve armory and stuff. Like there's actual places like hospitals and stuff. Well, I mean, it's like Daisy or something yeah. where it's like you got to actually go to a military base. <laughs> you want the good stuff? Yeah. Yeah, but it's a cool game. It is very cool. Yeah, and then you realize how much of a little worm you are even like people like stalled i saw this video of of this guy on on youtube i was like looking up like how'd i get good at this game there's a video yeah. of a guy killing fifty eight thousand zombies by himself with a lead pipe and i'm like dude <laughs> i'll never be at that level yeah where he just took over a mole all by himself i feel like fifty eight thousand people at a mall is a little bit much that's yeah. yeah that seems like the numbers might be off on that Game's a little unrealistic in parts, but <laughs> yeah. it's, it's overall pretty good zombie uh, stuff. You know, it's like a good zombie game. Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. I am. <laughs> I, 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 I can wear this for maybe 20 more minutes, and then I'm going to have to go do a change because <laughs> it is. I'm like, I'm trying. I'm really yeah. trying. My body has never felt this way. My <laughs> chest is like, I'm keeping this Diet Coke on my nipples to try to cool them down. But my chest is like making weird sensations i want to complain I, like I, I do not want to die in this my only complaint is, is the sleeves are a little bit too short so this is cutting into the webbing of my fingers uh, oh, <laughs> oh my fingers are a little bit uncomfortable 
Oh, um, you want to go take a bathroom break? I got to pee really bad, and you can go get more comfortable. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just wear like a regular shirt with the hel- helmet part on. <laughs> I, I don't really know how to get more comfortable without just uh, scrapping this, but I don't. You know, I was really committed to wearing it. Yeah. And uh, this makes it a tax write-off, so. It does. Like, I have to wear it as much as I possibly can, so the IRS is cool with it. Well, just so people know you're not a pussy, your AC is broken. Did you say that? My AC, yes. I, uh, no, I don't think I said that. <laughs> Our AC is completely out, and I am fucking boiling yeah. to death in this suit. I <laughs> the don't. house is hot, and he's just hot in the suit. While you're talking about Zomboid, I just keep thinking, like, roommate finds me in here dead in gremlin <laughs> suit. Like, heart palpitation. Like, I don't, I just, that's simply not. Granted, it'd be a really funny way to die. It would be. Not ready. Yeah. Not ready yet. Hey, guys. Sweater weather time. Wouldn't it be nice to pair that with a succulent fall meal? Factory can offer that for you, okay? Fresh, never frozen meals. Uh, Dietitian approved. And, uh, you know, all the fall flavors you crave. When it comes to meals, what do we all want? Options, right? And they've got 35 different options a week. So that's pretty incredible. And, uh, you know, it's factors more than just dinners. Okay, they've got breakfast, lunch. I could keep going. You get the idea. And, uh, you know, let's spend spend some time out in the beautiful fall before it's winter. Okay, you don't want to spend all day in the kitchen. How about a two-minute meal with uh, no prep, no mess? And uh, enjoy, you know, some dietitian-approved meals that, you know, you need calorie smart. You need keto. They've got all these different options. Uh, so why don't we factor that into our fall plans? And uh, head to factormeals.com slash 4 50 and use code 4 50 to get 50% off your first box and 20% off your next month. It's code 4 50 at factormeals.com slash 4 50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. Ooh, wow, I feel about a thousand times better. I think I can speak now. That's awesome. <laughs> and you look so much better, too. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I did have a slight problem, though. I realized that I can't pee with this outfit on, so I had to do some modifications with a pair of scissors. I had to cut up. I'm scared what you're I had to cut me. a pee oh. hole into my into my. That's bucket. a very generous-sized pee hole. Yeah, well, I cut it big. Not re- well, yeah. sort of. <laughs> so you can fit the balls through it, too. I definitely yeah. had to, like, I just put the tip through and then had to fucking yank in order to get it all the way out. <laughs> it's the one thing I can't complain about this gremlin costume. I don't know. It, the man, it was a man and wife selling them together, and they have a front pouch for so you can pee, and they have what they called an exhaust vent on the back. Uh, just a little hole where the ass is. That way you don't get the smells trapped in with you. Mm. They were awesome. definitely, they were fucking in that costume, dude. No, yeah. no they weren't. They, yeah. The they fur didn't... around the ass vent was slicked yeah. back Matted. With, yeah, with KY jelly and mm. A little bit of <laughs> gel to keep that hair. Yeah, yeah, it's just so you're, so the farts don't get caught on the hair particles. and As they leave. They explained it very, um. They really wanted me to know that they didn't fucking them. <laughs> also, the the old man that in the pictures was wearing the suit, like the reason I bought it, because yeah. I'm like, that just looks so funny. He, I guess, I now I'm thinking about it, I feel like he just doesn't like to wear clothes that much. When I picked this up, he was just in overalls with no shirt on, and he was like, when you wear that, I'd heavily recommend wearing nothing else underneath. It gets very hot. And that means like, he didn't wear it. I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, he was like, I only wore it one time for the pictures. I'm like, and why do you recommend not wearing clothes yeah. so much? Okay. Then why do you, he has so many <laughs> tips about the vent and yeah. the like, Yeah, it sounds like he now lived the, in that thing for now years. The exhaust vent sometimes can go a little bit to the left or right of your asshole. <laughs> what you're going to want to do, maybe bobby pin yeah. it. What's funny is okay. you, you sent me like the listing photo, and it took me a while to realize it wasn't you. I thought it was you wearing it. It's like an old man with a gray well, beard. Well, they're just like it. laughing about the costume, but then I scroll up and like see the eyes and everything. I'm like, oh, that's just like a fucking old dude. Because I was more looking but, at the living room. I was like, where the fuck is he, dude? This is yeah. like the saddest well, living room ever. It looks like the let's get the day started living room. <laughs> yeah. That's what it looked like. Uh, uh, yeah, no, they were nice folks. I felt, I felt bad because I bought this because it was funny. And the woman who made it met me there and she's like, I'm so glad you bought this. Like I make a lot of 
costumes and like i think i was like one of the first people to buy one yeah and i'm like well it's really beautiful like it's really well made and she's like thank you so much and i'm like i'm just gonna go home and like make fun of this like <laughs> i've been a lot a lot like easier about how i talk about it since i met her because like what if somehow she sees this <laughs> yeah this just... stupid fucking furry bitch <laughs> sold me this stupid ass gremlin no, it's... gremlin's supposed to be wide not tall <laughs> And then it, she's like, "Thank you so much for buying this." No, I, it's it's awesome me. that she made it. It's uh, it's just, if she's watching this, um, why? <laughs> That's yeah. the big question. <laughs> why? I gave it a good part of my life because I had just watched and talked about Gremlins a ton. <laughs> yeah, and then oh, let me pull some weight. Oh. Um, and I don't. They don't strike me as the biggest Gremlins fans. Yeah. Uh, cause she kept saying it's a gremlin costume. I go, technically it's a mogwai <laughs> until it, until it gets wet. It's just a mogwai. I thought it was until it was fed. You know After what? You're 12. absolutely right. Yeah. Yeah. And I even argued this with her for hours. So I guess I was wrong. <laughs> yeah. When they get wet, they multiply. When they get fed after midnight is when they turn into a gremlin. Okay. And, uh, I bought it. A little, oh my god, it's really itchy too. It's like, I think it's Dude, got they, fleas or something. You are a Native American and they are, <laughs> they are pilgrims. Uh, they have given you a tainted gift. <laughs> oh, it's irrational, but when I wear it, I genuinely am like, I'm breaking out in hives yeah. all over my body. I know I am. And I take it off and they're not there. I'm like, oh. um, uh, I would have, yeah. I would have brought that to a dry cleaners or something first. I, but it's like, I, I don't know how to fucking walk. If you pull on it at all, the hair comes out. So I'm like, oh, shit. I'm going to wear it this. I'm gonna, well, here's the deal. We're hosting a Halloween party. AC's probably not going to be fixed by then. This is my only costume. Yeah. I, I, yeah I'm just going to look really dumb. And then I'm going to take it off. I'm going to be so sweaty. I mean, whatever. It is what it is. I found if you put ice packs in it, it feels better. <laughs> Wow, that's a, it's kind of a shocking revelation. You put an ice pack on your belly, you actually get a little colder. Dude, they they make Eureka. You might have time to get one. They make like a uh, vest that they have like circulating tubes of. Uh, it's for like NASCAR drivers to sit in their thing in, in like 150 degree heat and not you know die, but it reduces your body temperature, and so you might be able to get like. Like a vest, Shit, like yeah, I gotta look. They sell those on Amazon. Yeah, they sell them on Amazon. You can get like a cheap version, cooling a, vest, a cooling vest or a cooling jacket. And the and Dude, it just you you like throw it in the freezer or something, and it'll sit there and keep your body cool for at oh, least shit, an they, hour. These are one hundred and fifty bucks. Goddamn, dude! If you want to look good at that party, okay, <laughs> and and not die of dehydration while you're drinking beers and that thing within in a house with no AC. This it I might be 150 one. bucks to keep you from dying. Okay, it's a small price to pay. That's true. What's the price of my life worth to me? <laughs> yeah, I can get this shit overnight. Okay, I'll buy yeah, one. Yeah, overnight that thing. Uh, I'll buy a little cheaper one. Still decent reviews. Yeah, so. uh, yeah. Okay, all that, it just has to work once. That's all. Yeah. Now and then for my lower half, do you think I should just like ice pack put a freezing rod up my asshole no, or you, you get a bunch of those moldable ice packs and you duct tape them into some sort of thong like contraption uh, and then you you put it on and then you put the pants on top of it i freeze to death i've got so much <laughs> ice on my, got frostbite all over my dick and fucking belly oh, oh out of the fire into the frying pan or out of the frying pan into the god it's so fucking itchy dude <laughs> This thing sucks. I hate that bitch. I hate her. Uh, she was dying to get rid of this. I see yeah, why. She was like, I, I made a monster. And I want it out. <laughs> Dr. Frankenstein selling his it. fucking his monster yeah. into slavery. <laughs> I want it gone. I want this freak out of my house. <laughs> Frankenstein's monster. There's there's something there. Oh, how do we riff off that for an hour? And what if he was a gremlin? What if he was a big gremlin soon? Yeah, I was thinking about Gremlins, like, Frankenstein. of the horror movies out there, like, Gremlins seems like the most survivable. Like, I was thinking, oh, like, you know, just so fun to kill them. <laughs> Dude, yeah. 
that seems like a total blast to hunt gremlin like yeah do we not do we talk about this last <laughs> we time? might uh, not with the romanian guy but no. maybe the one before maybe the one before we talked a vague a uh, little bit about been talking like, a lot about gremlins maybe a little bit about how like the mom just immediately jumps yeah, into mom. killing them <laughs> yeah. yeah and it's like and she's having fun with it as <laughs> any they're just intelligent enough where it's like they can trick you mm -hmm. But when you beat them to death, they just turn into green goo. And it's like, that would be, yeah. I wouldn't even feel, I told, I just told you before the podcast, like my dog maimed a mouse in my yard and I like had the shovel. I'm like, I can't kill this fucking thing. Like I can't, <laughs> I don't have it in me. If that were a little gremlin, <laughs> I'd probably start with its toes. Yeah. Each one, pop it <laughs> off. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hear it scream, go up to the knee. <clears throat> Right. It'd be so fun to shoot with a gun. <laughs> or like, Just like use flam. one as a silencer. Like, you shove yeah. it down the end of <laughs> Let's fucking head smooth off. What's yeah. like, what, what are like the most survivable horror movies? There's like Gremlins. I feel like I've always felt like Chucky is one where it's like it's a doll, dude. Like put that, yeah. put that fucker it's in basically a basically a gremlin. Yeah, just put it in like a cardboard box or something. Like just put a cinder block on top of it and watch it put flail around. Big glass ecosystem and fucking <laughs> shake the shit out of it. Yeah, um, but he's also like he's probably more clever than a gremlin. Gremlins was surprisingly not survivable for like eighty percent of the townsfolk. I don't actually, I don't think yeah. a lot of them actually died, but people did die. Huh? Because like a gremlin can drive a bulldozer into your house, so it's like yeah, it's not the easiest thing to survive. Yeah, but once there's that's, a thousand that's different of them. though. I mean, like right now of a. a like a plane could just fall out of the sky and hit your house. I'm saying, you know, the gremlin's coming. It's a one V one, you know, the oh, a one V one gremlin scenario. Yeah. That's not going to happen first off, but yeah, that's easy. Yeah. It's just going to turn into that workaholic scene where they're killing rats oh. in their living room. <laughs> slide, slide into it, explode it. Yeah, giant people's elbow from the, the banister. Yeah. <laughs> just pops. That is like, honestly, the fantasy I'd want to live is just grabbing a gremlin, ripping it in half. Yeah. Doing the pull, <laughs> doing the Bane thing where you break them over your knee and then keep yeah. pulling so that they get ripped in half. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Yeah, and then my roommate. What's going on in there, dear? <laughs> I wouldn't tell him shit, bed. dude, because he would come in and make me just look like a pussy. Yeah, he would come in and make it yeah. way cooler. Oh, you want to see how to really kill a gremlin? <laughs> ah! Yeah. I'm on some King Kong shit. <laughs> no, I mean there is just something there about. I think every, at least every man. And the world would just relish and just, <laughs> and just absolutely just destroying a bunch of gremlins. Yeah, nobody's going to be. Moms like it, too. Yeah, no, nobody's going to be upset about it, I don't think. They're, even though, like, they're, they are evil, but they're not even that evil. Like, some of them just like to party and hang out. Uh, so, yeah. they come at me and mine. Wait, dude, are, are some of, the, like, the gremlin gremlins, are they, like, evil evil? Or are they, are some of them just partiers? They're... It's a, they almost have like a pack mentality. They've got a leader, okay, and he seems to be the most evil, the one with the mohawk. And then the um, other ones are like those big cockroaches when, from Men in yeah, Black that make yeah. coffee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when they're with themselves yeah. in the movie, they just kind of take over a bar. They start drinking, playing cards. They go to a movie uh -huh. theater, and they're like cracking up at the movie. I'm like, this would not be a bad time to hang out with them. Maybe you now, just need to be wearing that outfit and kill their leader. And just See, bring a nice fucking to Gizmo. <laughs> and then just bring. Him... I would not want to be wearing this outfit when I ran into him. Okay, because they do not. They have no love for Gizmo. He's kind of like a little kiss ass, and he's a little suck up. So. Well, Basically, if you if you could take over leadership and be like, guys, more party, less launching yeah. old women into space on their. On let's their get little... into fucking hard drugs and let's stop. <laughs> let's stop tormenting dogs and local townsfolk. Yeah. I just bring them out to a cabin in the woods and just go fucking crazy out there. They could probably kill a deer. They could probably hunt for me. Yeah. <laughs> Collect firewood for me. I don't know. I mean, yeah, that'd be... I don't know what they're capable. I wish they were in this goddamn book so I could find out their fight statistics. It is funny that I was like, look at this book I found. And you gave me this book. <laughs> I was like, Where did I get this? This would have been great for the last guy. Chupacabra. Are you kidding me? Yeah. That's badass. <laughs> 
Yeah. That actually looks exactly like a gremlin. It does, that is, it does. The ears. As close the as ears this are could get. remarkably close. Yeah. It's got gr- and they can jump 20 feet. <laughs> Wait. So I'd imagine a gremlin. If, if stuff's in there, like, I want, look up the Strigoi. The, like, oh, shit. Yeah. Like, Romanian vampire. Because, uh, it, for those of you who haven't seen it, last episode we had a, a Transylvanian, like, Romanian expert on mythology. So he's like a, a vampire expert. And um, honestly, very knowledgeable guy, cool guy. Kind of a slight, you know, language barrier there. Where I feel Boy, like... Boy, it's in... Uh, we would ask him some, was- some questions and uh, he was unable to give us really specific stuff. Which is, yeah, you might want to take the lid off that, Chief. Okay, yeah. okay. You don't have to bring attention to that. Yeah. Which is why now we have drink water. The, the, the book here, which I'm hoping will... Yeah, this is going to... Strigoi, it's not alphabetical, but it's by region. Look at that. Can you read that? No, I can't read it, but that doesn't look like a are vampire. Are those dogs or those... They look like they lions. Look a little like saber-toothed tigers, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. <clears throat> the Strigoi... It's an evil force that is difficult to get rid of. The Strigoi are usually troubled souls that rise from the grave to seek justice for something wrong done to them during their lifetime. They are thirsty for blood and can spend many nights hunting for food. Um, They have to return to their grave regularly until they become older and stronger. When they need, only return... Wait, what? This is the sentence. They have to return to their grave regularly until they become older and stronger, comma, when they need only return to it every Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not destroyed after seven years, it no longer has to return to its grave, but it can live wherever it likes, looking like a normal person. Ooh. Okay. It's very specific. Yeah. And that's, is that the precursor to the vampire? Is that a vampire? That's what I got from I, the other guy. Yeah, 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 and they're from Transylvania. It's uh, famous in Romanian mythology. It says they can often be tricked into leaving their victims alone by scattering seeds with n- a nail hidden within. The obsessive creature cannot pass without counting the seeds. The hidden nail will prick them and force them to start counting again. Ooh. Which is kind of what he talked about. He was like, yeah, if you got a bag of seeds or something. That's why Johnny Appleseed would be a naturally oh, yeah, yeah. A great uh, foe for this. Hmm. That is, uh, you know, the, the, These, uh, they're like little rain men. Like, like vampires, if they were like super autistic, yeah. like have Asperger's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, nail. It's like okay. Monk if he got bit by a yeah. vampire. <laughs> yeah, why is that not here? This is, I love how insanely specific some of the shit you have to do to them. Yeah. If it's an unmarried Strigoi, <laughs> they only prey upon their... Wait. They would. They prey upon their former lovers. They must be killed with a sickle through the heart. <laughs> with a sickle. You could blow them up with a rocket launcher. It wouldn't do shit <laughs> unless you find a sickle. I don't know where a sickle is. You know, I don't have one. I'd be completely screwed if one of these guys can't. Were you married? Wait! Are you a regular one? I can just blow his head smooth off, or are you are you a loser? Here, take the seeds with some nails in it. Oh, that looks like wedding rice. Yeah. I, I never had one of those. So so vampires made from dudes that have like Asperger's or yeah. dudes that get no pussy. Yeah. <laughs> like they make like yeah, this is basically the worst type of vampire to become. Yeah. Those are the those are the most evil, yeah. most dastardly of the vampires. You better I have to go to you better hope every you're going up against the normal ass guy. Uh, yeah. Oh shit! This guy many... was a dork. Oh fuck! All I have is holy water, a fucking Constantine gun. Yeah. I've got my brass knuckles with made of silver, but I don't have a sickle. No, oh, no hand sickle or a bag of rice to keep him at yeah. bay. <laughs> Here's my holy hand grenades. Yeah. Oh fuck! Yeah, this this is bad news. Why, why didn't I have this book when that guy yeah. came on? I found this in my closet, and I was like, "This must be a relic from one of my ancestors." Nope, Sam gave it to me like a year ago. Totally forget. It wasn't even that long ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was like, "Ooh, this must be from my childhood." Nope. Yeah. 
Yep. They got Vlad Dracul in here. Yeah, he's okay, cool. he's what's cool. his what's his synopsis versus? Did you know the Strigoi? Wait. <laughs> mm. These are a real prince from the 15th century. Vlad the Third was the son of Vlad the Dragon, called Vlad Dracul in his own language. He gained the surname Draculea, son of dragon. He is uh, most famous as being the inspiration for Bram Stoker's title character in Dracula. He was not a vampire, however. He was just a determined and fierce warrior. Yeah. He likes to impale people. Um, he lived in Transylvania. Just seems like a regular dude. He could just kind of <laughs> yeah, shoot just, with a gun. Yeah. Not that cool. Yeah. And he looks... I don't know why in this picture they've chosen to have him kind of like in a... He's got like a nasty bee pose or something. Oh. He's like kind of hunkered down. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's like really low. Well, that's because he's about he's about to really impale tiny. somebody. He's real low. They go ass the first. Asshole. Yeah, they yeah. go ass first. Uh, that's what you hear some behind you. I don't see anything. <laughs> Ow! Oh, no. <laughs> and too <Just> far. <laughs> <laughs> that felt good for like one second. Too far. Oh. <laughs> he's going all the way through. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to taste the metal. Okay, this is... There you've yeah. gone. Do you know those like castle toilets? Have you ever seen those where they... Oh, where they just poop out the side of the place and yeah. it falls down? Yeah. I, I got... Yeah. At like one in the morning, I got on a little side away on, on Wikipedia reading about... They have an entire Wikipedia page of people killed on toilets. And before, oh. you know, like Elvis, where people just had like cardiac arrest on the toilet from you know, being on too many opioids and then straining and having a embolism. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Before then... Those castle toilets, for a long time, they used to make them on, like, the first floor. Because then they don't have to use as much stone to make the poop shoot that would go poop down. doesn't splatter as much. Yeah. Too. Yeah. It just, they, they would poop basically down, like, a little chimney on the outside of the castle. And then it would go down into a holding <laughs> tank. And they would have a peasant go down there and pull the poop out. But then, there's a series of, like, royal figures. Because who uses a, a toilet in a castle? Like, the big dog. You know? Like, the king... The princes, the like the yeah. big people. And there was uh there's a, a decent amount of people that basically like enemies would hide in the poop chute, and then when they would go to poop, they would stab them through their asshole with a spear. Jesus. That has to be a horrific way to go. So then they were like, Okay, <laughs> no more first floor poop ch chimneys. We gotta put this shit on the second floor yeah. at least. Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah. And that, that way also, people would be less determined to climb the poop walls up there with the spear. It would be a little bit harder. That's pretty, it'd be pretty funny, though, if you poopied on a guy while he was trying to kill you. <laughs> yeah, he tries to Thinking stab you, shit, you just shit in his oh, eyes. Oh, oh, God. And you look down and he's doing, he's, he's slipping and sliding in the poop on the whoa, floor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, I want some more where that came from. <laughs> Quick, I'm getting assassinated. <laughs> feed me prunes. shit. Yeah, feed prunes. Me prunes. Give me a prune smoothie. Yeah. <laughs> we got to slick these walls down so he can't get up. <laughs> I feel like second floor is just shooting an arrow up there or something like yeah. that still. Well, I don't know. I'm just probably, I just start shitting him like a bucket and just tell my, yeah. my peasants. Dump it. To, yeah, carry that outside. Yeah. Well, I also think uh, just the, the, the ego involved with not. Like, I have a toilet, like a regular toilet. No chance of someone stabbing me through the asshole. I still give it an ocular pat down before I poop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, it could be a snake or something. A, a roach or, or something, like uh, yeah. hiding on the bottom side of the... I give it a full look. You know what oh, else I, I do? look under. Oh, you don't lift up the lid and everything? I give it a nah. full look. A full look. And also, Never. this is something that separates the people that would die in Zomboid in the first 10 minutes and the people that would live at least to a ripe old age of like a day in is yeah. when you go use the bathroom, do you look behind the curtain, even in your own bathroom? I no. always look behind the curtain. Always. No. There could be someone standing there. Are you kidding me? That's like the number one hiding spot. If I'm about to, even at your house, when I went to go poop, I check the shower every time the tub. That's smart. Cause I've been known to <laughs> see play a little joke on my guests. See, you got to check yep. the tub. Look behind the curtain every time. If you listen to me go use the bathroom, you'll hear the fucking... Whoosh, I'll pull the shower curtain back. Look. I do I it real quick, too. I scare you while you're pooping, but when you leave, I'll immediately follow you out. <laughs> you go, oh, that was great. You go, Woo! Where'd that... Yeah. 
I did that poop in there, not that guy. And then you're like, no, it was me. It was me. I'm like, <laughs> I came out of the bathroom last. That's a good host. If someone, yeah, ta- yeah if, you, if you follow me or if you hide in the bathroom, wait till I finish pooping and go like, sorry, I stunk it up in there. You know, it takes the blame off of me. Do you, uh, this reminds me, do you ever, when you're using a bathroom that's not your own, if you know there's people outside waiting to go in and you go in there and it's a fucking mess, do you ever clean the seat just so you're like, they won't think it was me? No. <laughs> I do that sometimes where I'm like, <laughs> I don't want the people behind me to be like, this guy really fucking lit this toilet seat up. So I'll like, you know, I'll like quadra wad. I'm, I don't want to touch the piss. I'm yeah. just going to wash my hands, but I'll clean it up a little bit. No, what, so I, it's like what I would do in that scenario, if there's pee, like, are you talking about on the toilet seat? I would lift yeah, it up. I mean, you would, yeah, I do. I've done that too, where I like specific, like I'll really go out of my way to just, you know, sometimes it's like, I'm a rush. I'm not going to lift the toilet seat up in this public bathroom. Yeah. But in those cases, I'll lift it up and I'll just say to myself, well, I hope they don't lower it. No, if they lower it, they would be like, oh, it must have been somebody else because that guy left it up, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes I'll pee on the seat and then be like, oops, and then I'll lift it up. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I didn't do it. Yeah. I uh, I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like some people are very self-conscious about the noises that they make when they're in the bathroom, in a public bathroom, completely justified. If you're in the same room, but once I'm in there and I close the door, I will, I'll I'll be in there just ripping fart shit and whatever. If you're, if I, if I'm in there, the door is closed, you know, someone's in there. If you're listening in, that's on you. You want to hear me shitting. You want to hear me pissing. And that's your, that's your fault, dude. When I'm in there and yeah. that door's closed, if I'm in there by myself, that's my own sanctuary. Go out of your way to not listen to me, okay? I'll still try to be a little quiet. I'll still open the ass a little, just stuff. Uh, <laughs> I'll still, I'll still try. Well, to I shoot do that so I don't get shit air. down my butt cheeks. You know, um, you do the, you put one <laughs> butt cheek on one side of the seat and then you spread yeah. and then yeah. And if you do yeah. it too much, it feels like it's tearing your taint in half, <laughs> which is. That's when you're like, I've gone way too far. I need to, yeah, I I need to loosen the I, slack on this. I don't care if this. I fart loud anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling my, that little crack just start to rip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, yeah, sometimes the butt crack can be really sore <laughs> after a long shit. Have you ever been holding in a fart and then you like accidentally like slip on something and, <laughs> and like your body does like a full like muscle contraction and you end up like farting? No. And it's like a genuine surprise. I don't know if you'd appreciate I've probably already talked about this. And I don't know if you'd love I won't say who it is at all, but one of my friends in the most dramatic moment of his life where he <clears throat> had to like stand up to his dad and got into a physical <laughs> altercation with him. He shoved his dad over a table and while his dad fell over it, he farted so loud. <laughs> and he said it like really took him out of the moment of and the dad was like horribly embarrassed and he's just like wasted, but <laughs> <laughs> my friend was like god damn it like that is funny but this is not the time for laughing like this is the most serious moment of my life yeah but his dad fully farted when he fell over because i'm sure he was you know he wasn't prepared to go over that table yeah. it just slipped right out of him yeah but yeah that would be it could really turn the tide yeah my mom would kill me if she heard this but she's gone now so we can talk about it yeah. it was one of her like uh uh i think she had gotten clean from drinking and then, and she was like, I'm done drinking. And then she came home one night and she was very drunk. And I was like, mom, what the fuck? Like you're drinking it. Like it was a moment of like, dude, I thought you were good. Like you're drinking again. Yeah. And she came in the house <laughs> and fell against the wall, <laughs> rolled, and then like hit a giant decorative birdhouse and then slid down to the floor, looked up at me and just like farted with her ass against the carpet. <laughs> And it was just like a like a long fart, and I was and a like, "Cuckoo clock fell through her head and burst out." Cuckoo, cuckoo. And I was just like, "You know just what to say to like, take the anger away, mom." Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Not a word was spoken. <laughs> Chris Farley fell into a table and exploded it. Shit her pants. <laughs> oh, mom, I forgive you. Mom, you're just funny. You're just a funny gal. I got a six pack in the fridge <laughs> in the garage. Yeah. <laughs> 
Go you and get it. yourself another drink, <laughs> you silly bitch. Now, that was fun. Yeah, that was uh, funny. That was, the way you farted, <laughs> the way you left a trail down the wall. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious, actually, quite frankly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah it's good to, you know, in those really somber moments where <laughs> yeah. it feels like your world's ending to just kind of take a little relief. Yeah. And- well, that's why when I know there's conflict brewing on the horizon, I start saving up farts because it's a get out of jail free card. Yeah. yeah. Any argument. I just made a tweet about that weaponized incontinence. Yeah. You could just start getting an argument to shit your pants. <laughs> You're so pathetic. It's like, yeah, are you gonna, really, you're you gonna still keep, argue with me? You keep an argue, uh, up an argument with a guy yeah. like that. Keep yelling at the guy that can't control his bladder. Okay, yeah. like my life's already awful. Yeah. What do you want to win? You want to win this? Or you want to take that away from me? The only thing I might have going. I just pissed my pants. Like, what? I can't even help it. Yeah. Well, immediately, like the person that's arguing with you, it's like it brings them down too. Yeah. You know, it's like you're arguing with a guy that's shit his pants. It's not well, a good look. Yeah, for and you. then I turn it on him. This is your life. Yeah, you're arguing with you're the now guy a part that, of this. I reek. I reek, and you're arguing with me about semantics. Okay. I don't remember if they're a gremlin when they get wet or when they eat after midnight. But you re- uh, look at me. This is what you are. Oh, you're better than me. Everyone is. Everyone in the world's better than me. Uh. Dude, uh, that's yeah. what I love about that. You see Asmund Gold got banned on Twitch oh, yeah. for like really shit political takes. And I, and people are like, this is just like irresponsible and stuff. I'm like, you, were you assuming you were going to get an enlightened point of view from this? The guy lives like a fucking garbage man. Like he's got yeah. he's, his know, walls how- covered in blood from his gums, his bleeding gums. And he's got like rats running around in his the, house. The, the story... I don't. I hope it's a joke, but with the guy like that, you just have to almost assume it's real. Yeah. Where he said he had the rat that uses an alarm clock because when the sun would hit it, it'd start to stink really bad. Stink it's like really bad. honestly, I don't even think that guy should be around. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even think he should be allowed to to have a computer state, and like be streaming to people. Sanctioned execution. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds cruel, but you're getting I, put point, to the front of the execution list. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Look at yourself. Yeah. You even want yeah. to b- still be around? No, this I, is a mer- <laughs> like that. You no. shouldn't be allowed to have a house. Okay, the neighbors should. <laughs> they should get your property or something. I don't know. Yeah. Um. It, yeah, it was just God, really the funny. Gums, like the 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 fucking them on the teeth. The amount of people that were like, "This is he's just like leading people." I'm like, dude, that should. If you're viewing him and taking any sort of political <laughs> point that he has, it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> He had a tweet last year that was like, why do people like want the opinion of streamers and stuff? And then, and then he said something and people are like, no, not you, not you guy that shits his pants and <laughs> listens to the dead rats sing himself a happy morning. Like what do you, you expect from this guy? Yeah. You got to lower your expectations. Yeah. That being it, said, I don't agree with the ban. I don't like it when people get banned. Because then it's oh, closer pre- to me getting banned. Yeah. I don't, don't like any sort of... I saw your tweets today. Yeah. I'm like, oh, he's got some skeleton about to come out of the closet. What's, <laughs> what's going on here? Yeah. Well, a lot of people are uh, like, uh, very, like, they need to like moderate across the board. I'm like, no, I don't want any moderation. <laughs> <laughs> free for all. Free for yeah, all. Free for all. Free for all. <laughs> I got kids. I, I want, got kids. I want <laughs> people that are worse than me to go uh, unscathed. Okay. Yeah. Because then that the water way. level's not up to me yet, yeah. and I'm okay yeah. with that. I can slink through the cracks; <laughs> yes. nobody ever notices. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, 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 I also I think they definitely they definitely give a lot more uh, leeway if someone's at least attempting to be funny. But he, you can yeah. tell he was dead serious. Yeah, he was seething. Yeah, yeah he was little... he was really mad, and then he was like, "All right, guys, I gotta go eat dinner. The rat's starting to stink." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I I don't smell rat blood anymore. <laughs> yeah. I, I still got ten more minutes to hour. fucking yeah. shit on Palestinians. <laughs> the sun must have gone down at some point. <laughs> yeah. I can't tell. The, the gall stink though is to fading. the gall to wag finger at someone else's culture. Yeah. With the stinky rat alarm clock is insane. You're inferior. Okay. <laughs> I, I think I shit my pants. I cannot tell. The smell in here is so bad, I would not know if I shit my pants. Dude, I, yeah, I, I, that, that being always said, grossed me out. So, like, the tours of his house, I'm yeah. like, I, it, it honestly must be some, he must have something going on. 
Like no no normal person can live like that, but I can I say something without now that we've ripped on him for so long? I love that guy. I'm his biggest fan. <laughs> I'm his biggest fan. I I love he's... that weird little fucking people like that exist. They're like little eccentric rat having guy, dead rat I having when guy. When people like that are like rich as fuck, and it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> with Ryan, money? Just you no, have that's enough money. Great. It's a mystery. Bulldoze this out. I don't want to know what Build he's doing. One. I don't want. He's not buying any new clothes. He dresses like a homeless guy. He's not. He's not buying furniture. He's not buying art. alive rats. That's for sure. No. He's, he's, got he's not his... buying rat traps. I mean, he's not buying cleaning <laughs> agents. Buy, I know. You can buy five of those for a dollar at the Dollar yeah. Tree. He's not buying no rat traps. You just buy some glue and leave that shit around. Like, yeah, I, I, yeah it is. Like, yeah. what the fuck is he? He, he maybe he's not spending money at all. I I, he seems like the kind of guy that if he didn't have millions, he would like take his money and put it in a Folgers coffee can and bury it in the backyard. <laughs> you know, for like future. <laughs> But there's no you way. You leave a dead rat on it. So that. I have not. Who knows? Who knows what the hell he's doing with it? It's insane. I you think it would be funny for guest. him to buy a big mansion and then reduce it to the state of his childhood <laughs> yeah. home. One weekend. Yeah. Just uh, that way from his webcam, you can see it's like, it's like a 6,000 square foot mansion and there's hordes of cockroaches crawling up the walls and stuff. I saw a clip of him like drinking water and he's like, it's so disgusting. How can anyone drink this? And everyone's like, you're tasting the, like the taste of your mouth right now. Your mouth is so foul that you have something that's flavorless and you that's, just taste it. That's awesome, dude. That guy's my hero. If like the, the lifeblood of humanity sickens him. This is the worrying oh. part. Like that guy, that guy will probably outlive me. Yeah. Like, yeah. How the fuck? He's a human cockroach. He's just don't. Like, That's all. Awesome. I have not. My I have not gums seen were that. bleeding every night. I'd be like, I'm out. Like I'm. I must be dying. He was. He was turned off by water. Is an insane take. Yeah. I had a friend like that growing up. He was like, I just don't like the taste. I'm like, what? What are you? It's like you have to drink it. It's like it's you like are like a carbon based life form, right? Yeah. Like we we need water. He's like, I get it out of soda. Like. Uh, okay. He's probably doing Dude, better. If than I had, if I had, they live sunglasses. The first person I'd look at is Hasman Goldstream. He's like a beautiful angel. <laughs> yeah, I put on blinded. <laughs> yeah. I, he's detached from all human needs. He's 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 basically evolved. Yeah, he has. He can live in anything. He can, he can do whatever. He's totally fine and content. Zombie apocalypse, zombie bites him, they die. <laughs> yeah. so he's like, I don't care for the taste of this one. Yeah, this <laughs> like, I'm good. This I'm guy tastes good. like shit. I'm not <laughs> Oh my god, he's disguised himself as a zombie for the apocalypse. Genius. Yeah. He doesn't have the human smell on him at all. He's completely <laughs> they can't even detect him. They would just walk right past him. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Have you seen uh yeah. World War Z? Where like people have oh, terminal yeah, long, diseases long, long. and like the zombies like are running and then they just split or go around like this guy that forgot that was an aspect of it. Yeah, he's got like terminal cancer or something like that, and the zombies are just bulldozing right past him. That's as they just don't want the they just don't want the taste of yeah, it. Yeah, I, I think it's something about like the virus is seeking a host that will perpetuate it, and that kid's oh. gonna die anyways. Yeah. <laughs> that kid's on hospice. I'm not yeah. fucking gonna bother infecting him. Feel bad for the kid. He's kind of rough anyway. Yeah. The only thing I remember about that movie is just like a thousand. You know, the screen has like millions of zombies. It was like the most zombies in any zombie movie. Yeah. I only re they like climb up that big wall. Yeah. Is there, that was those awesome. are scary zombies. Yeah, yeah they, they it was, were. It's one of the ones where you're like, well, I definitely couldn't live. Yeah, I would die immediately. Nah, I could do maybe Shaun of the Dead. I could not do almost any other zombie movie. Well, Shaun of the Dead was, uh, I think it was a little bit more survivable because they were British zombies. Yeah. And I feel they're like, kind of like funny. yeah, they're funny and they're pussies. But yeah. <laughs> you know, you have that same yeah. shit in like Arkansas or something. Yeah. Those scary motherfuckers before. will tear you apart. <laughs> it could be the British guy that's already dead. <laughs> yeah. And they have now those cricket be... bats. Or could you imagine yeah. hitting someone with a cricket bat? That would, they're, they're melee instruments over there, and they have castles Awful. already built in, by the way. Oh, yeah. It's so defensible oh, yeah. over there. All their houses are made out of stone. I feel like zombie apocalypse in England would be easy. Totally easy. Yeah. But, yeah. I think, yeah, I mean, 
you had those fantasies. Everyone has those fantasies after you watch those movies when you're younger. Like, where would I go in my hometown? Straight to the hardware store. <laughs> it's the only fun I had when I had to go to the hardware store because there's no toys. I'd be like, I'd use that to kill a zombie. I'd use that to kill a zombie. Yeah. I'd fortify, but also I was pretty aware this is where about 80% of the town's going to go. So I'm going to have to kill people too. Yeah. I'm going to have to kill friends and family probably to get to the good stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I think uh, at, we, we watched Aliens on Discord recently. Yeah. And um, there's that little kid, Newt, that just kind of lives in the ventilation ducts yeah. and survives like well past everybody else. Uh, I think I wouldn't even have a gun, probably. I would probably just try to lay low as much as possible. What is on, like a ghillie suit? If you just had a ghillie suit, like what are they going to do? Could they I do not. You know? I guess I could look it up in this book. Like, can a zombie. Yeah, look up zombies. See what we're working with. Are they attracted to heat? Are they attracted? Okay, it looks like we've got... Ooh. Okay, we have zombie from I Walked with a Zombie, which I don't know if that's like a movie. Mm -hmm. And then we have zombies from Night of the Living Dead. Um, Those are the ones that want specifically brains. And then there's... Oh, God damn it. You have to go to other pages because it's not alphabetical. There's also... The Infected, which is probably what we're talking about. I'm going to have to go to page 22. <laughs> and Zhang Shi, I'm assuming some sort of maybe Chinese zombie. Let me yeah. Look at these. Zombies from the Living Dead. They just look stupid <clears throat> as fuck. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> they don't look like they'd really be doing nothing. There's a lot worse things than zombies in this book, I'll tell you that. But the Undead, I'm assuming, is what we're going to need. The Infected from I Am Legend. Okay. Well, these ones are, you're not going to do shit about this. Yeah. Well, the I Am Legend is supposed to be a vampire movie first, or a book. The book is based on vampires, and then the movie. All of a sudden, they're like, "Oh, zombies are really popular right now," so they made it into a zombie thing. But they still have like vampire traits, right? I haven't seen that movie. In yeah, a long they don't time, like sunlight. They can't go in the sun. Yeah. Yeah. This. Yeah, this talks about them being more vampire. But it also says they can be blown up, burned, or killed by gunfire, so that's not bad. Hmm. Always keep a rifle and pistol close at hand. A bullet in the chest is a sure way to wipe them out. So they're just like regular people that don't like the sun. Yeah. They're just like kind of like <laughs> gross looking people. Yeah. <laughs> and their hair, they lose all their hair. Okay. They can't talk. They have rotten pointed teeth. So it's like regular um, people at TwitchCon. It's like... <laughs> It makes their gums bleed. I mean, I'm just, just starting to sound like a guy I know. Um, when it's seen in daylight, the creature's skin appears see-through. Their veins are visible. Sunshine burns their flesh. Yeah. And they have to stay in the darkness to survive. Yeah, okay. Now we know how to kill Gold. A bullet or explosion should do the trick. Or a, or a stake through the heart. <laughs> either either just, will do. It says it can go through people or dogs. <laughs> like it, it can't go through anything but people or dogs. Well, Pip, I'd have to take out pretty quick, which would be pretty. I would not like that. I would take no joy in that. Yeah. I don't think it'd be much of a challenge. <laughs> kind of relies on me for his life, so yeah. I'd remind him of that. Where's these sh these Chinese vampires? I wonder if these are like the jumping vampires. Oh, well, it looks like with these guys, you can throw a bag of fucking seed and they'll have to stop and count it too. Why is that like in China and Romania? They're like, yeah, that, that makes sense for a vampire <laughs> zombie. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know why they would. Very meticulous type vampires over there. It's weird too, because that is like the origin story of vampires. And then it just took like, a, I, I think Bram Stoker, where the hell is he from? Let's see. Bram Stoker. I want to see where he's from. Oh, he's Irish. Whoa. It took a Westerner to look at it and go like, hey, maybe that would be a lot scarier if we took out that like yeah. <laughs> counting fetish that they have. Yeah. Like their weird meticulous nature. This, these, these ones are the Jiangxi. A little scarier in that it says they can be gathered together by an evil master and used as an army. They are sometimes put to work as bodyguards, or they can be sent into battle against an enemy. They can be commanded, and to ward them off, you need to write a special spell on a thin yellow paper using chicken's blood as ink, and then you have to stick it to the zombie's forehead. 
That's very, very. See, if they get a post-it note with some chicken blood, <laughs> stick it right to his forehead, that'll that'll just kill him. I guess. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Is this chicken's blood? Oh my god. Yeah, that's. These are. I guess not that scary. I thought these were the ones that like jumped really far or something. Hmm. It is funny that like Bram Stoker went over there and dropped everything lame from their strigoi and turned. He's like, yeah, well, instead of, like, rice or whatever, what if he, like, is rich? And he- yeah, what if he's kind of, like, suave? What if he's a, a little sexier? I don't yeah. know. We'll add some sexiness to him. We'll give him a bunch of money. All the Romanians are like, what about the rice? <laughs> no. No but rice. What is, his, uh, <laughs> what is the, the coup de grace? Like, what, how do you get rid of him? No rice? What are we going <laughs> You gotta stab okay, him? Well, Come on, man. It's gonna be pretty hard to get rid of him, because... Oh, yeah, I mean, this they've got Bram Stoker's uh, Dracula in here, and he's... I mean, he's just what we know as Dracula. It's just pretty basic stuff. Yeah. Oh. Three female vampires. He's got wives. I did just watch the beginning part of uh, Van Helsing the other day. I was in the mood. And uh, Dracula's Oh, wives wait, the 2006 one with Hugh pretty Jackman? Pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, that it movie was, fucking rocks. I thought that movie was super rock. underrated. Uh, one of, by the way, you know, when you're in like middle school and you go on a um, movie date with a girl. I never did that, but. Oh, okay. That was like my first. Seen, that was the first movie I went to where like girl lays her shoulder or head on my shoulder. She's like, this boing! movie's fucking boring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a little nap. And uh, I think I had hand on inner thigh. Doing! <laughs> yeah, it was kind of a big deal. And then so that uh, movie's really special to you. Yeah, that movie's huge for me. Plus the uh, the scene with Jekyll and Hyde is awesome. It is a cool scene. The yeah. CGI does not hold up. Does not at, at all. all. <laughs> yeah, but it is a cool because I kind of forgot about what Jekyll and Hyde is. It's like original Hulk almost. Yeah, it's it like, is. It's like it's like he, badass like street brawling Hulk. He's got that little top hat. He's like British. Yeah. yeah. British Hulk. He's always, he eats a cigar twisted. Yeah. Pretty he sick. smokes it, then eats it. Oh, he puts it out on his tongue and then chews yeah. it up. Yeah. That's <laughs> badass. Yeah. And also, is which one's... Okay, it's Dr. Jekyll. Because in the movie, I honestly did not remember. I thought Jekyll and Hyde was like that magician duo. And he's like... Oh, Doctor Jekyll and the big monster is like I go by Mister Hyde now. Mm. I'm like, what is what is this? I had to look it up. It's a cool story though. Um, it what it's about. He's trying to separate. It. I'm looking at it right now, making a potion to separate the hidden evil mm-hmm. from his personality, and then so he becomes. So then he accidentally sets all the evil into himself or some shit, and. uh and then, yeah, he just becomes fully evil. I think it's some sort of, like, it's like a story trying to explain why Irish people get so violent when they drink alcohol. Yeah. They take the secret <laughs> little potion, and then they go crazy. The evil comes out, darling. <laughs> yeah. It's not me. It's not your doctor. <laughs> yeah. It's Mr. Hyde. Mr. Hyde. And this little bottle home. of scotch. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm taking my I'm potion trying, again. I'm, look, look, I'm look. trying to do good. I'm trying to get the evil out of me. <laughs> Don't you understand, you bitch? I'm, to, I'm doing this for us. Drinking my whiskey potion so that you love me. Yeah. The uh, by the way, that movie is not regarded as like a cinematic masterpiece or anything. But it that should, opening yeah. black and white scene where uh, Frankenstein's oh, it, monster is running up to really the windmill. Cool. Beautiful, dude. Beautiful. Re- scene. I, that's what I thought too. I was like, this is it's a great homage to like classic monster yeah. stuff with the uh, big crowd of people with pitchforks and stuff following them frankenstein's up there. creepy yeah very cool yeah I yeah frankenstein's got movie. some sort of like electrical brain or something in that i remember oh yeah you can like see into like shocked by that yeah, yeah. he had like some sort of gizmo going yeah, maybe, on maybe feel really bad for him too because he's it's supposed to be a tragic not, tale and also the fucking what's this little creep he always keeps around uh, There's a little rat in that. Yeah. Uh, um, the guy that's like, I don't know, Igor. Igor, yeah. yeah. The Igor in that's like, I will work for Dracula now. <laughs> and it's like, whoa. Yeah. I guess, yeah, maybe Igor. I don't know what he needs money for and stuff, but 
probably like yeah, you totally reconstruction <laughs> surgery. Dracula yeah. said he's gonna give me like <laughs> cure my spina bifida or whatever. He is more horrid in this than I feel like I've ever seen him. Yeah, he doesn't even really have that bad of a hunchback. He just looks like a ghoul. Yeah, there's a lot he's of similarities quite... between Igor from that and then that hunched over guy from Three Hundred that sells out. Oh, the yeah. Spartans. They're kind of You're kindred right. spirits in a way. Yeah, I wonder if one inspired the other or something. Mm. Uh, this jacket is so fucking hot because it's like leather. <laughs> it's it's like fake vinyl shit. It looks cool, but it is so hot. It does look really good, and it worked very well for a cowboy thing. Oh, yeah. No, that was the vinyl or the, the, the nylon one that was like super thin. This thing I wanted to bring oh. with me, but... It, oh, it wasn't even that? No, it wasn't. No, the, oh. other, the other one's like super thin, crappy, see-through material almost. But uh, I would have died out there in the desert with, that, with this one on. This would have been brutal. I'm starting to think I made a massive mistake uh, Halloween-wise because I said I'd wear this outfit to two different parties. and I, I can't wear it for more than 20 minutes. Yeah, that- <laughs> and I can't wear anything underneath it if I want to wear it for 20 minutes. So it's... Uh, I'm going to be in quite a pickle. Yeah. When I, uh, You're going to be a, uh, yeah. you know what would look really cool with that outfit? A big backpack with some a change of clothes in it. <laughs> yeah. Just like, I got uh, nothing on oh. underneath this, guys, but be right back. I got to, can I use one of the bedrooms real quick and change out of it? <laughs> oh, yeah. And then I just leave my shit covered suit over in the corner because I got dog died. <laughs> uh, back, uh, speaking of backpacks. This really isn't, I don't think this has any legs, what I'm about to say, but I was thinking about this last night. Do you think the backpack feels feels really good when Dora puts map in him? Do you think he can feel when things are put in? Nah. I don't want to talk about it. I actually don't want to talk about that at all. Wait, Dora the Explorer? <laughs> yeah, like the backpack from it. Mm. The sentient backpack, like when map gets like, nah. I don't know. Yeah, same thing with um. Is it Pee Wee's Playhouse where like the furniture talks? That chair. Yeah, that chair. And Pee Wee all the time is like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pee Wee sits down and goes, "I'm about to infuse some farts into this." Cushion. Hey, uh, chair. You think you can say the alphabet again? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up and say the alphabet. <laughs> Spell it out with your tongue. <laughs> yeah, uh, that is, by the way, like. I feel like that is like the wor- the worst goddamn. Oh shit! I do have a Pee Wee Herman doll up here. I can get. Yeah, I've got a Pee Wee Herman picture in my house, like a little painting. Yeah, I feel like that's like that's the, the worst. What the worst like oral excuse? Or not excuse. A tip of all time is like say the alphabet or something while you're doing it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. Does that even work? It's bad. <laughs> is it bad? I, don't I feel I like the Greek alphabet. It's a little more dynamic. <laughs> Yeah, I do Chinese characters. Yeah. <laughs> My God, are you, are you writing the art of war down there? What's going on? <laughs> oh, I know the art of war when I feel it. Okay. <laughs> You're not the only one that studies these kinds of topics. That's awesome. <laughs> that is, that's funny. Yeah. That's, that's rich. Yeah. Now that is rich. Yeah. Um, do you have any Halloween tales? Um, no tales from Halloween's past. Uh, I, uh, One time I got a bunch of candy. I've told this story before. And then I, and then there's a bunch of kids following me. And I found out at the end of the night that I had a hole in my bag. Yeah. And I was <laughs> tripping candy. And kids were just trick-or-treating off me. That's fucking off that's trail. brutal, dude, that they didn't say anything. That's Nobody brutal. said a word. And they just took my candy. There's candy everywhere, guys. You can get candy from uh, every <laughs> yeah, house. They're literally on this road. giving it out for free. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So one day where you can get candy from people for free <laughs> and, and they choose to take it from me. Steal it off of you. That's fucked up. What do I look like a sucker? Yeah. Okay. It's candy. <laughs> yeah, eh, it's it's also kind of fucked up that like you're, how old were you? I don't know. Like 15. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was like 50. Guys. I couldn't tell it was getting lighter. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I feel like uh, even at that age, I mean, your parents weren't around. I guess they they were there. I just don't think anyone noticed. <laughs> Nobody gave a shit. <laughs> yeah. My parents were probably like, thank God he's going to have sugar rush later, you know? Yeah. I don't know. And then by the time I found out, it was, it was time Abby's that home. parent. After, after Halloween, she like, she, she'll like 
prune their candy uh, hoard and throw a bunch of it away so that they don't have like a huge amount of candy Throw it away. Yeah. She'll just like get rid of it and then like hide it up in places. And I'm like, that's like their candy. That's their booty. That's their one day a year where they get to have yeah. a shitload of candy. I feel like it's almost worse work. for them to, to, to give it out piecemeal because then they have like consistent candy all year long. Whereas if they just have one night, one night where they dominate a shitload of candy, Maybe a week. It's usually gone after a week if yeah. you let them go fucking crazy. Then they have the rest of the year to be healthy. And they're going to learn. Oh, okay. I eat this much candy. I get a bellyache. Yeah. Yeah. You give them one piece a day, they go, I could eat a piece of candy every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> and uh, then they're going to be fat little fucking kids. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be little monsters. Uh, do you remember those, like, ne- are they called Neko, like, wafer? Do you remember those things? I don't. Not from the name. If I they're just like they? little, like chalk discs that come into in a fucking roll, almost like mints, but they're just like little wafer discs. Ew. Yeah, I see. They're like little. They're like worse than Smarties. Yeah, people that give out old timey like candy Smarties. like that. It's you're just asking for it, dude. You're asking for it. Now in my neighborhood, you never went out and egged anybody's houses. You never went out and did the toilet paper thing. But you do that type of shit, everybody talks shit about you behind your back. Okay, don't give, give out those dots on wax paper. Yeah. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna you give out Neko wafers. Wife. You give out those little dots on paper. Um, uh, circus peanuts. If you give out circus oh. peanuts, it's over for you. Your reputation in this town is ruined. Because eventually, <laughs> these kids they grow up and end up owning businesses. They have jobs in the community, and it's like yeah. the the candy selection you choose shapes your perception later in life. Okay. This is very important. Uh, yeah. Some people trivialize it and they go like, Oh, just get some stuff. Don't just get some stuff, put some thought into it. Get some good. You're shit. giving it to the next generation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I these still people, remember and- the first house that gave me a king size candy bar. Yeah. And now, I, now I owe them. Exactly. And in these people, they wonder why they get old. They go to old folks homes and the people they gave candy to, are the people that watch over them at these old they're, folks They're homes, nurses. And they wonder why they get abused. Yeah, they might say, eat this, eat this packing peanut. Remind <laughs> you of the circus peanuts <laughs> you used to give me, you old bitch? Yeah. Eat these. Yeah, you remember those Werther's Originals you used to give out? All right? That's yeah. not Halloween candy. That's like, I, there's nothing going on at grandma's house. I want to have one of her little butterscotches. Yeah. You know? That's not. That's year round. Yeah, that's <laughs> year round. Well, I'm looking for special stuff. I'm looking for peanut butter chocolate flavor. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking for a mixture of maybe sweet and salty. What's your, what but, was your like, I, this, this was my thing. When I came home, I would dump out the candy. Me and my brother would dump it out on the living room floor in separate piles. And then we would start wheeling and dealing, trading like yeah. it was Pokemon. And uh, I would always section off the cream of the crop, which was... It, the fucking, do you guys remember the flavored Tootsie Rolls? Oh, yeah. Like the little blue ones yes. and the little, yeah, those were good. The little those, white ones. Yeah. That, that is was, like a good. sleeper S tier candy. That is, yeah, it's something I would never think about again unless you brought it up. Exactly. I do remember being like, oh, joy. Yeah, those are like, this is way better than a Tootsie Roll. Yes. <laughs> those things are fucking insane. If I get a, a, one of those flavored Tootsie Rolls, I feel like they don't even make them any other time of the year, too. They probably just make them. For <laughs> I don't even know if they make them anymore. But yeah, <laughs> those, the, the, those things damn, are I, I want some of those little blue wrapped and they're white on the inside. Yeah. Like yeah. a total switch up from the regular <laughs> Tootsie Roll <laughs> Those formula. have to be it's so bad for you. They're purely synthetic. There's no way they're, they're good for you. No, but I mean, all the colors, all of the different colors in there were, were awesome. Except for, I think the yellow ones kind of maybe sucked. They, they had mm. like a butterscotchy type flavor. I don't really the, remember any of them but the blue ones that were like vanilla. Really? Tootsie Roll's assorted flavors. You can still the get The green them. ones are insane. The red ones are great. The green one right here. Yeah, they, oh. those things rock. And yeah, uh, like, of like course, I've, I've gone on my fucking now and later tirade only a couple episodes ago. Now and laters, if you find a house that gives out now and laters, <laughs> you know you got a fucking real one right there. Woo! Pips <laughs> <Yeah, it's laughs> well, are you talking about now and laters <laughs> in there? Damn! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah, now I'm, and laters. I was go pretty hard. basic where Reese's cups were 
like the little foil wrapped ones. Yeah, like, yeah, that's what I would shoot for in trades. Those were good. Also, an easy thing to get. I did like Smarties. Not many others did, so I would trade for some Smarties. I get some Smarties. Smarties are good because they're snackable. Yeah, you know, you just you need a hundred. Yeah, you feel fine. Yeah. If anything, your stomach's a little settled. So, <laughs> yeah, those are I'll good. eat Tums. I'll eat anything the like that. People that gave out zero bars and like the weird offshoot, uh, like Fifth Avenue zero bars. Yeah. Thanks a lot, you hipster fuck. Yeah, I don't want fuck, this shit. Yeah, the crispy bars or whatever that have like yeah. Rice Krispies, in, the Crunch bars, Crunch bars. I'm like, what are, what are you Ooh, doing? Wait, okay, I actually don't hate a crispy one. I, I think I'm going to be giving out uh, Mr. Beast bars this year to all the kids. So I'll seem hip. Say, hey, remember me. You know, you could win a million dollars in that wrapper. You're going to open up the door doing a fucking Fortnite dance. <laughs> Here, here's your feastables, kids. Eat up. Talk to you. Talk to you. So I talk to my little siblings, and they just think I am the, like, cringiest, worst person in the world. So I'll just like, I'll just like way too hard try to relate to him. I'll be like, hey, you see the Rizzler? I wish you were going hawk too, hawk too. And my little brother's like, holy shit. Like, <laughs> oh, Donald like, Trump. Smell Trump. This. Okay. Yeah, like, well, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. He's like, that's not even funny to us. I'm like, no. Okay. Skibbity. They think, I, they think I'm so, I mean, I am old now, but they think I'm like the oldest fucking guy in the world. Cause I'll just always be like, "What's up? What's up, kids? E, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast." And it's like, yeah, if my older brother did this to me when I was a kid, I'd be like, "I don't want to talk to you. I, I, I don't want to be your brother anymore." <clears throat> God, they find that, it funny. that makes like, me they want can't to tell him joking. I have like a my my kids are completely unplugged. They don't have like. Yeah. A lot of they don't have any access to the internet because I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't even know the Costco guys. <laughs> uh, they, these kids are being raised like Mennonites, and now I'm uh, now I feel like maybe I should give them <laughs> tablets and stuff just so they can get into that world. So then I can be that cringy yeah. to them. Yeah, it's gonna it be nice fun. when it happens. But she's got uh, Madeline's got like classmates that talk about Roblox all the time. She's like, what? "My friend plays Roblox. What is that? Can we play that?" And I'm like, "You're not fucking playing Roblox, kid." <laughs> I'm not putting you on Roblox, never. Unless I get a sponsorship for it, you're not playing that shit ever. <laughs> no, I don't even want to see what it is. It's... I got a Roblox sponsorship offer, and I'm like, that's really cool. It's for the fucking mobile version only. Oh, like, fuck. Dude, I, play, I would I play, play Roblox all day. Like, honestly, that game rocks if you're playing it with friends. There's, think, there's great servers on ever, there. There's like... I think I've pl played the Call of Duty Roblox oh, in Oh, Phantom Forces? Yeah, maybe. Oh, Phantom <laughs> Forces rocks. All those RP I've heard dress servers. Dress to impress is really fun. High school but. RP and uh, and Roblox is insane. So good. You go on that a lot. Um, <laughs> a little bit of an RP here. Uh, there's Harry Potter role play <laughs> servers. Great. They're better on Gary's mod, but they're pretty good. And what's great too is all these kids. They're they're you know they're little kids. They ain't got no money. So if someone like us rolls in. You got your credit card <laughs> on Roblox. You can own the server. One swipe of your credit card, you can own that server, dude. I can own a hundred favors from a hundred children if I start passing out Roblox. Dude, I get, I get on a fucking Harry Potter RP server, I get the Nimbus 2000, one swipe of the credit card. Five bucks. Yeah. Those kids have to, right. they have to grind for, for years to get that. I'll give you Robux. Okay, now you're going to go to your mommy's credit card, okay? And you're going to go to patreon.com, <laughs> okay, slash forehead fairy. Are you writing this down? You go on there and you're going to subscribe for a year. Yep. <laughs> yeah, a year. Auto I'll pay. Auto withdrawal. $10 of Robux. Yeah. <laughs> uh, easy. Easy money. Yeah. Yeah. I've been thinking about that. Like, I've talked about that before, trying to network, getting our viewers into kind of like, Maybe fear mongering about like, guys, we don't have enough people. Like, you need to start having a lot of kids, get them on the podcast mm -hmm. when they're kids. Maybe we can make a kids offshoot channel. It's like daycare. Yeah. Then I was thinking, wait, there's a complete untapped market that is parents that have Amazon Prime accounts, but they don't know what Twitch is. So they're not using their free Prime every month. Mm. If you have parents with a Prime account, get on their account and subscribe to us on Twitch. With that free prime, they're not going to even notice. That's huge. It's free. Yeah, it's free. That's a huge market. Two parents, hopefully. Yeah. 
God, God willing. <laughs> maybe two accounts. Maybe they're divorced. Ideally divorced. Ideally With divorced and healthy. Yeah. And and not hip enough to like ever be on Twitch. They won't even know. That could be huge. Then yeah. pop some kids out. Get those kids on it. I think in order to incentivize it, we need to have like you get ten people. Five people. We'll make it easy on them. You get five yeah, people to lot. auto do it, then your subscription's free. We'll just have like a if, yeah. if you can convert enough, you're you're free from here on out. Lifetime membership. Yeah, we'll podcast. DM you the link. Yep. Yeah. And then uh and that way priority in speak pipe episodes. <laughs> if you get twenty people on, you yeah. get to be in every speak pipe. And then we'll we'll be contacted by so many people like, how do you have a podcast that gets no views <laughs> but makes like eighty five thousand dollars a year? <laughs> this has Our to secret. be like a money laundering scheme. <laughs> don't worry about it, dude. dude it's better don't, than that. Don't even ask. A, yeah. yeah, we got like gorillas out there, grassroots you have growing 10 this. Ten viewers that are the only guests now. <laughs> <laughs> but you make a billion dollars a year. <laughs> just a little secret, just because we thought of it first. Yeah, that's devious. Yeah, there has a, there yeah. has to be a way to to somehow get that done. <laughs> we guys, we have got to get that done. <laughs> this has gone from joke to dead serious. It is There's funny to think that, that like could... so like people would we could somehow get people to sneak on other people's accounts and, <laughs> and subscribe them for free. Grandparents, like, what's aunts, the, uncles. There's no law cousins. being broken there. There's no, no law being broken. It's completely It's legal. I mean it's free money, it's legal. dude. <laughs> it's free money for us. Yeah, it's free. You just have to they're they're auto logged in. Just go to Amazon. <laughs> Check if they got a prime. If they don't, they would probably hey, happy Happy Christmas, Mom and Dad. I signed you up for Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. Now you get free shipping or whatever the fuck. You get Prime Video. And I made you a Twitch account in case you want to watch yeah. some stuff. <laughs> yeah. And if you guys do this, make their Twitch account name like Free Mom Money 1, Free Mom Money 2, Free Dad Money. <laughs> so we know. So we know. Yeah. So we, yeah, know. So we know if it's actually So if we do another like not. poster thing where we're sending them out, we don't send them out to your fucking mom because we yeah. don't want them to know that we exist. Yeah. We don't want to <laughs> alert the them. They'll be like, Podcast? What? <laughs> And then they'll look us up and be like, we're subscribed. What? I hate podcasts. Yeah. I I hate Twitch Prime. Yeah. I just found out about it this morning. I'm outraged. <laughs> I'm going to kill my kid. Yeah. we they, There's just got... Or there's this path or there's making better content that incentivizes more people to subscribe. What are you, stupid? Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is the dumbest thing you've said all day. That sounds a lot harder than just logging in, <laughs> yeah. logging to your daddy account, make a plus, quick account, uh, make plus, the password, I mean, who all, gives a shit? You know, a lot of these viewers, I feel like they need excitement in their life. How exciting would that feel? Like, when was the last time you guys did any sort of, like, espionage? Heist. Yeah. You put on a balaclava, you, you tie up your parents with duct tape, you sneak onto their computer. Fingerless gloves. Yep. Uh, coming down for, was with a harness from the ceiling <laughs> down onto their above your dad Pulling at his the computer. Fan out. Yeah. <laughs> Inject his neck with something to put him to sleep. Yeah. And then breathe on the keyboard. <sighs> See where he's pressed keys. Now I know his password. Yeah. Password. You go to breathe. Okay, you go to breathe on it to see the keys, and you see lasers are above the keyboard. <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh shit! <laughs> Oh, fuck, he knows. He knows I'm coming. Spray your can condensed <laughs> fog over it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Daddy does not want to sub. Yeah. Okay. He's, uh, oh, our dad wakes up. Where am I? <laughs> He's in a beat shack. <laughs> Got fucking <laughs> wires on his nipples. <laughs> and this year, I want double Halloween candy. <laughs> <laughs> Also, you need to pick a Prime account. <laughs> that would really spice up your life. Yeah, I think or if it would, you're like yeah. a 30-year-old man, just go in there and beat the shit out of them. They're probably old now. <laughs> Hit your dad in the back of the leg like you make some, you know, a little joke back of the leg tap. He's going to fall. Yeah. Right behind the knee. You're just going to put a little bit of pressure right into a sleeper. <laughs> They're old. They're old. You can do anything on their computer. They don't give a shit. Yeah. You can still get excitement out of that. Yeah. <laughs> Stealing candy from a baby. I feel people like a lot of people girl. give up. Like they don't, they stop giving a shit in like mid 30s. I'm almost there. I can feel it. Mid 30s <laughs> to 40s. So if you're, if you're old enough that your parents are 
you know, mid thirties to forties, which I would goddamn I hope you guys are <laughs> listening to this, not with a parent younger than that. Um, this is totally feasible. This is doable. I feel like once it's the hardest part is registering after that. Um, they, they're not going to keep up with their financials and stuff. They're not going to, they're never going to find out. Totally doable. Even... Totally doable. Yeah. Yeah. And if you have rich parents, <laughs> they got shit, they... more than one account could be made. You guys, yeah. you can make as many accounts as you want. There's no limit. I don't think. Well, maybe there, I have no idea. There's no limit. Yeah. How many emails do they have? Do they have a business email? How many credit cards do they have? <laughs> no. Look around your house. How big are your windows? How big are your doors? These are signs that they might be rich. Okay. <laughs> Get on there. Creep on there at night. <laughs> and then you can, once you're on the computer, you can look up porn. You can do all sorts of fun stuff. <laughs> look at their search history. Get blackmail on them. <laughs> oh, uh, God. If I knew like what search history was when I lived in like my dad's like just divorced dad house or it's a TV oh, dinner yeah. every night. But there's some freaky shit on the <laughs> computer on dial up. Oh, for sure, for sure. No, people did not clear their history. No. <laughs> like was, My dad worked no in idea. IT and I, f- I found his browser history when he was divorced. I was like, his, his homework Holy folder. Shit, Hold dear on. God. No, My divorce dad a divorced dad doesn't even no, there's no hiding it. No. It was just desktop yeah, porn had, folder like he, was, he had all his like nudie mags just like five feet off the ground i'm like i can see this <laughs> yeah, i know completely unabashed i know what yeah. those are yeah i shouldn't i do <laughs> and um, they're erotic yes but maybe put them in a closet or so maybe hide them a little more nah. put them in your gun safe <laughs> nah. You're divorced, Dad. You just want to get home, beat off right away, dude. <laughs> dude if I had to open up, a, the- if I had to open up a gun safe in order to get to my porn, <laughs> look at the. I'd have to look at my gun every time. That'd be like, <laughs> then yeah, then it's like I'm opening up a door to options. Okay, yeah. I want the yeah, I one choice. option I have when I get home is to beat off with my big stack of porno. I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't I want there to be sad- a fork in the road with gun in mouth or <laughs> stack of porn. Look at my shotgun or my porno mags in there, and it's just like. I don't don't honestly give a shit which one I pick. (laughs) And then I'm in the other room like, Daddy, I need Robux. (laughs) (laughs) Yay, Daddy, two Christmases. God, Jesus Christ. Yeah. (laughs) I'm glad my dad didn't kill himself in the divorce. It's worked out pretty well, so. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I don't think my dad ever even got close. I should ask him, Dad, you ever get close to... (laughs) That is to like, yeah, get drunk with your dad sometime. Be like, yeah. did you ever? Yeah, everyone was it ever that bad, or was it just fine? No. No, I think I, I think living that. with my mom was unbearable, so he left to go get a bunch of pussy. I think it was. Yeah. I think it was a glow up for him. Uh, for the divorce, every day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, Before the divorce, I'm sure he had that those thoughts, and, he, and he's like, and I can't even have a big stack of porno mags <laughs> in the house. This is bullshit. But yeah, yeah. Sometimes I, a lot of people get a uh, kind of like, oh man, divorced parents is so sad. Mm, I feel like there's some instances where it's like, thank they should have done that years ago. Thank God. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Honestly, yeah. When I look back, my my dad and I still are like, those were some of the best days ever. Where it's just like, he get home, play Halo all fucking night, watch movies. Yeah. Like yeah, it seems pretty awesome. Yeah. No wife nagging in your ear, telling you, you know, you gotta take out the trash. Yeah. Get some fucking... Just make your kid do it. Some TV dinners. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't give a shit. I'll eat a fucking Lunchables for dinner. Oh, whatever. Yeah. I, I feel the okay. same way about, you know, uh, Bizzle and Chapa. Oh, yeah. It, Chapa, like, I don't know if he still does, but he worked at a pizza place. And he would just, like, come home with a pizza, like, every night. And I'm like, dude... Living like Larry, yeah. <laughs> just walking home from the pizza place with a big pizza. You want to awesome. smoke weed and watch a movie? Yeah, very nice. Abby just flashed her tits at the fucking window. Oh uh, yeah, boom. Actually, I don't want to live with my bro in a pizza house. <laughs> yeah, never mind. I just got. Hey, Abby just reminder. walked down the stairs. Maybe <laughs> remember what the hell I'm missing. Okay, Chop ain't got no tits with that pizza box. <laughs> never Can mind. Can I just feel him, Chop? Turn the lights off. <laughs> yeah. Chapa, you could eat yeah. a little bit more pizza. Get some more heft to these <laughs> things. Damn. <laughs> yeah, those are, those are some bad times when a half an hour turn the lights off. I'm just <laughs> was it that was you that was talking about that? You'd had like a fat friend where you guys yeah, wouldn't feel yeah, his yeah, titties. Let me, let me That's insane. Let me feel those bad boys. 
Put, pinch your armpit and let me put a finger in there. Ooh. Ooh, I am dreaming. Yeah. Uh, that rocks. It does. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes the saddest appearing time in your life can truly be the happiest. Yeah. Not often. Not often, no. <laughs> Not often. Most of the time it is it's as bad as it looks. You but. ever have like a, a moment in your life that you think is just normal and stuff and then um as you get older, you look back on it, and that time period is just like a blip on the radar because nothing eventful happened to it. Like at the time, yeah. you were just like contentment, <laughs> and then like you, you like look back oh. on it now, and you're just like, oh shit! Like that time went by so quick because literally nothing was happening. It was the yeah. worst time of my life. Probably like the two years after I graduated college, <laughs> <I'm just> like, <laughs> the, the dark times. Yeah, where I'm just like streaming and getting plastered drunk all the time. And- at the time I'm like, this is fucking awesome. Now I'm like, oh god, <laughs> this were some dark times. This were. Yeah. Yeah. What's and funny like, is those th- those times. There's a there is a fork in the road right there where it's like if you kept you know, doing that, you could have become someone big, dude. You could have you could have become an Asmund Gold. The house could have kept deteriorating around you. Get riding my skateboard into the walls, breaking my place. Oh, I don't give a shit. I don't fucking care. Pit pisses on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll piss there too. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, there's um, many, many paths in life. Many times where you can take new paths. Yeah. I could. That could still happen to me. Who knows? I think uh, me and when me and Abby first moved out, we moved into a place, uh, and then I sat there. I, I guess technically it was a good spot because it's like where the foundations of my channel was built. Was yeah. at this uh, this rental, but. God, I don't fucking remember a damn thing there except for, or like what happened there, except for like my neighbor was this guy that would, uh, he just like raised rabbits and then would slay them and eat the rabbit. Like he, he was like, dude, yeah. it's like, why go to the grocery store and spend money on meat? You can literally grow it. <laughs> like that was his, every time you talk to him, he's like, dude, you need to start growing your own meat like me. And he, he would just Some say rabbits sweeter than chicken, <laughs> tougher than steak. I, I would always just see him out there like messing with his little rabbits and then uh, they would I would they would never be seen again he would he kept having like batches of them being born but he uh what was so funny to me was this guy had all this going on he tried to like homestead and like he made like a um a chainsaw mill where you you like cut your own lumber to make dimensional lumber he did all this in a very compact urban environment where like the houses were almost touching. So you're just trying to like homestead on maybe an eighth of an acre. Like it was the smallest yeah. plot of land ever. And he, yeah. and he was still trying to do it. But that's like the that was like goddamn Ebor district. It's just like everybody's got chickens in yeah. the suburbs. No, very similar to chickens. Ebor district, like how close the houses were. And he was yeah. trying to do that shit. But wild. Very wild. One of my f- friends was talking about he lives in like. Also not a great part of Indy, but it's very, yeah, like houses everywhere. And he's like, my neighbor, dude, he's got all these fucking roosters and they're crowing all the time. <laughs> We're like, yeah, he's definitely got a cockfighting ring. <laughs> no chickens, just roosters. Yeah. And they're very agitated. I'm like, well, he is certainly, he somehow found a way to have that just <laughs> in the city. Nobody notices. Nobody cares. Huh. I feel like cockfighting rings. Yeah. Cockfighting is probably harder to hide. So yeah, goddamn loud. Yeah, anybody can own a dog, and then you can just be like, "Dog got fucked up doing something." You know how dogs are. You know, it's cr- crazy. Like you could just go to the pound, get a dog, eat it, and then go back. Like, how many times could you go to the pound before they're like, nah. like "I'm saving this dog. <laughs> this dog's gonna put. I'll take. I'll take ten dogs." Yeah. Come back the next day. Mm, oh, I'm gonna need about ten more dogs. I don't care what they look like or what their personality is, fat or better. <laughs> well, the problem like, is we feed dogs shit, and so they uh, can feed them sweet potatoes. <laughs> they, got like, yeah. they got, they got, uh, I of course wouldn't want to do this. I'm just, yeah, they got, I don't know. I'm sure like microplastics and stuff in them. I don't know. Oh, did I tell you that I was, all? I was doing a, I found that exotic meat market website. Did I tell you this whole thing on the, uh, podcast my friend will told me that you found that and i didn't i was just thinking about that but i didn't want to bring it up because i didn't know if yeah you wanted to bring it up well 
it, well, actually, other Will. I told that Will about it, but other Will, BTorrent, um, me and him found this exotic meat market website where it's this guy that used to be a vegetarian. I, I watched his YouTube. I watched. I looked him up on YouTube, and he had a very interesting like backstory. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know if I watched the backstory. He's just like people want to try weird meats. <laughs> I'm just providing a market for yeah. that. Basically is what it is. He, I think he was, uh, he was like a vegetarian for a while and then he ate like veal and he's like, that was delicious and immoral. So now I'm going to create like a, an entire market where people can buy. Some, yeah. I looked at that website. There is insane stuff. shit. On, you get, like you can just eat a zebra. Yeah. You can just like zebra meat. There's like bobcats. I'm like, is that legal? Yeah. And like, if I you, don't know. if you go to the bobcat one, like the descriptions for the the meat, it just says like this is legal. I can assure you. I'm like, dude, if that's the first thing that's there, I'd, uh, I'm really questioning like, it at this point. But I couldn't tell. I think he has a workaround where some of them are they're like, this is an endangered animal in its country, but they're raised in America on a farm, so they're like not technically endangered in America. <laughs> yeah, like because they don't live in America. Uh, domesticated yaks. Yeah. Yeah. So he's like. Eh, here they're not in danger technically because we don't have them. Yeah. Now they are in danger because I'm going to turn them into some jerky or something. <laughs> a lot of cool options of the meat you can get. Yeah. I don't know if I could get past eating some of them. Well, I, I ordered some because I was like, oh, I'm going to get the cheapest thing because it looks like the website looks like a place that would take your fucking money. It looks like a scam. Yeah. And I get to it and I go, what's something cheap? And so I find a guinea pig, I bought a guinea pig. But then I was like, oh, that's not, I mean, it was like $40 for a whole guinea pig, like prepped and ready. Um, and then I was like, well, I want something a little bit more exotic to see if he can kind of pull through, you know, because you can go down to the pet store right now and pick up a guinea pig and take all the hair yeah. off of it and send it to somebody easy. So I ordered guinea pig and I ordered a Nutria, which is like basically a giant rat from south america i just clicked on that one yeah, yeah it looks like a capybara yep it's basically one of those and uh it says nutria are not rats <laughs> yeah it's a, it, he's very adamant about it not being a rat i get the guinea pig within two days perfect i f uh, filmed my segment of making a guinea pig in the in my fryer i had to get a big dumbbell and put it on top of them to weigh them down um Tasted like absolute shit. It was the worst meat oh. in the world. Yeah. And then uh, Nutria, though, not hasn't shown up yet. It's been like over a month. No Nutria. I think some Weird. of them he has to send out as poachers in order to yeah. fucking go get them. Dude, they've got otter beef. Like, who wants to eat an otter? I do. I want to. <laughs> I'll get. Okay. If they had Groundhog, any. Groundhog, whole carcass. Yeah. Like, every. <laughs> All the weird ones on there. What's funny, too, is, like, the guinea pig, like, the picture that they use for guinea pig cracks me up. It's, like, the cutest, like, <laughs> pet store photo of just, like, a little guinea pig with his little eyes. I yeah, well, he's adorable. I felt like a monster saying, add to cart. Cause, and you can just buy their testicles, too, which is funny. I was about to say, they have listed <laughs> guinea pigs' testicles. Yeah. You didn't, did you order those? I didn't get the testicles. I I what is that? Like, this fucking pig? Like, what? Because it's a guinea well, watch pig me, nut. Why'd you like, get them and they're, like, the size of... Yeah. Wildebeest balls. Holy shit. Uh, the uh, guinea pig I got was a female. No balls. So Okay. Yeah, But I'm still kind of uh, pissed because that website looks like a great source of exotic awesome meats. And my Nutria, which is an exotic meat to us, they are considered a pest in South America because they're so, they're, there's so many of them. And so I was thinking, oh, there's so many of them. They should be able to snatch one up and send it to me. No, no Nutria. You sound like a fucking evil villain. <laughs> Where the fuck's my Go goddamn exotic meat, dude? Fetch me my exotics. fetch me my giant rat and send it to me, so that Did I can verify whether or not the site rocks. So then I can order a zebra and spend, you know, because the zebra is like probably like 185 bucks. I don't want to just throw the money away. And there, you if you go to like the Better Business Bureau or whatever for this website, there's a lot of complaints where people are like, I ordered some fucking uh, anaconda and he didn't send it to me. So This, uh, this is boa constrictor, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, I can tell by they the They have face. a lot of cool eggs on here. You can get snapping turtle eggs. Yep. You can get peacock egg. That guy's got everything. Egg, he's, a, he's a fucking genius. Reindeer meat. 
just in time for Christmas. Mm -hmm. This is like a website I find completely disgusting, but I'd also be worried like as a joke, I'm like, yeah, I want to try camel. And then you're like, holy shit, that was the best meat I've ever had. In my Like I need more because I could see myself, you know, trying an exotic meat and being like, that's a new flavor that I'm addicted to <laughs> moose. Okay. So the problem here is that humans have reduced our palate to like four meats. We eat, really, there's so many creatures out there, and we eat four of them, you know? And then if at God the same... didn't want you to eat them, he wouldn't have made them out of meat. Yeah. That's what my grandma always said. Exactly. And so he's got possum and stuff on there. I want to try this shit, you know, because the way we're going right now, these creatures are going to get killed off by global warming anyways. I might as well get a goddamn healthy meal out of it, you know? So, uh... Yeah. They've got wild boar. There's like a fuck ton want, of that. What if it's delicious? Yeah. What, ostrich meat? They have ostrich legs. You can just get an entire ostrich leg <laughs> delivered to your house. Jesus Christ. On ice. Be- <laughs> this big fucking four foot long leg. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. So I'm curious. Yeah. I'm curious. They've got, they've got an exotic hot dog in the month club. I saw that. they. Yeah. There's like a, uh, he has service. This is his most ingenious thing is that he does indicate that some shipping times may take a little longer because, like, yeah, you order wildebeest brain or whatever. Maybe he doesn't have wildebeest brain on stock. And so he has to wow. wait until he gets a shipment in, and then he'll send it to you. Um, but he has this, uh, yeah, like, special sausage of the month, and it's 800 bucks for the year. And then once a month, he sends you just his most exotic sausage that he has. And it's a way for him to keep, like, constant yeah. income. And so people get, like, weird anaconda sausage. October's hot dog of the month. You get three pounds of beaver. That's big, Aren't dude. beavers, like, like hunted to almost extinction? Uh, maybe they're back. But uh, Beavers are actually, uh, they impact the environment uh, almost as much as humans do, you know, single-handedly. So I think it's Damn. actually in our best interest. To turn them into you can sausage. Get a beaver tail. <laughs> yeah. Would that even be good? No, probably not. <laughs> what like, the least happen? Also, I think honestly, one of the worst ones on here is just bobcat. Like, yeah, bobcat. <laughs> it's just like a like, what is the, like a majestic you, predator like that? Yeah, I wish they had like owl, a <laughs> like like a bald eagle or something. Yeah, it's just it's just it's like falcon, a falcon wings, wild cat. Yeah. You can eat coyote meat. Like, these people want dog and cat. Yeah, yeah. Coyote? Coyote testicles. One set, I'm 30 ordering bucks. some coyote. Once my Nutria comes in, I know this is legit. I'm ordering a coyote. I have tried kangaroo jerky a long time ago, and I remember it being all right, but kangaroo on here they is, take it too far. Uh, they're exotic to us, but over in Australia, they're, I mean, they're everywhere. There's, they also use a, a, the cutest picture of a kangaroo ever. They picked the smallest kangaroo they could show. <laughs> little Joey, little tiny little. Yeah. It's, it's in the pouch still, just yeah. arms over the edge of the pouch. This one, big red arrow. <laughs> a gun to its head. Once it yeah. gets a little Get bigger. Get out the card, I pull the fucking trigger. <laughs> <laughs> you let me know. He has a little noose around its neck. <laughs> you let me know when to pull. Bucks. I'll, sh- I'll send you the video of me killing it. <laughs> Yeah, it feels a like a like like the most unethical website to go to, honestly. Also, like I feel like you could get detached being like I work at a fucking chicken factory where you feel horrible for them and there's just yeah. a million of them but that, they're you know, born billions to die. be killed. Yeah. yeah. And then it's like I work at a telling a girl on a hinge date, like, I actually work at a bobcat farm. <laughs> and uh what I go I don't ahead think and do these is are I domesticated. Them. I think they send out poachers. They, into they, the wild. A lot of them, they say they have like a farm for it. Yeah, they're lying. The farm is the goddamn w- wilderness. Okay. Yeah, they go out and Farm's farm them. They farm barrel. them. But I don't think they're on a farm, if that makes sense. Mountain goat, goddamn water <laughs> buffalo, camel. Like, this is just. Okay. And I, I bet one of them, there's a hundred different types of animal you can get on here. You know, one of them is just better than anything you've ever had. Oh, yeah. No, I. So, what made me want to get on here was uh, Will was telling me when he was in um, uh, Qatar or something like that, he was like, I had a camel hump. And the camel hump is, I thought it was just a big water bladder, but what it is is a big fat bladder that is the water is stored in it somehow as fat. It's like watery fat. Anyways, you cut off the hump, and then they... they Drink the milk. (laughs) 
they cut the hump into like deck of card sized pieces of like fatty meat. And I'm talking like it's mostly fat. And then they just fry it. And it's like a, I guess like the fatty part of bacon, but they fry the piss out of it. And it looks so fucking good. And I, I was like, oh, I want to try that. I find this website. They sell camel hump fat, that, like pre-sliced. And I'm like, oh, that is, that's incredible. And then I saw, you know, the giant rats and stuff, which I thought were a little <laughs> bit funnier to get. And I felt like it was a little bit more ethical to get a rodent for some reason, like a yeah. giant rodent. I didn't feel as horrible. Then, like, when, they, when they're like, do you want the last uh, Barbary lion? <laughs> Yeah, the last known wild Barbary I, lion. We'll I'm kill sure it for you and send it to you. Devil guy. Yeah, they're still out there. Still good. Or Tasmanian tiger. What yeah, Tasmanian tiger. Tasmanian devil. Yeah. I got a cartoon. I got what? Yeah, we caught the bastard. You want bug bunny? <laughs> They've got bear meat. Like that seems that seems fucked up. I don't know. Bear? Well, it depends. Is it black bear? <laughs> yeah, those are fucking gross little things. Bear suck. It says they're your whatever your favorite type is. <laughs> well, We've got it all. Black, black bear? bear are like those are the ones that like go like rifling through your garbage and shit. Yeah, but they're also they're like nuisances. the one that probably won't kill you. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So I would rather eat like a grizzly bear just for like pure domination over a while. Was it? I think it was Wrangler Star. Like randomly out of nowhere, he's just like, "You guys ever seen a bear strung up after you've like?" <laughs> You ever seen a bear yeah. getting cleaned out? He's like, it looks like a goddamn person. I tell you what. Yeah, yeah, I, we're both just like, oh, yeah, holy sure. Fuck, no, I didn't. It had never occurred to me if you flay a bear, it looks like a human on a cross. I didn't think. You know, when that. I played Red Dead, I could see that. Yeah, I could see that a little bit there. Yeah, they're peopleish. Yeah, this is. The, so the only one you actually have tried is guinea pig. Yeah, very stringy. It's like a mix Are between you, like. It's like a stringy pork. You're doing this for a video? Uh, I was until my Nutria didn't show up. Do you think, are you going to make Zach eat one under the guise of its regular meat? Oh. Well, the Nutria is coming as a stewed bits. Like, it's like stew meat. And I'm going to make a, mm. a delicious stew with it. And then I'm going to feed it to him. Yeah, he... <laughs> but he you knows. Really wouldn't give a shit, though. Yeah, you just feel like... He knows. Yeah, he doesn't He'll care. start hunting rats at his house. <laughs> yeah, he... Damn, I love rats. <laughs> that shit's good, dude. <laughs> you can eat those little fuckers. <laughs> I got a thousand rats back home. <laughs> yeah. Blue foot chicken. Like, I bet that's just better than regular chicken. Has to be. Has to be. There's just a chicken that's got full black feathers on here. I bet it... Sure, it's different. I'll try <laughs> Yeah, I, I have that, that curiosity in me where I'm like, come on, dude. All I've really had is like really. some fish, chicken, pork, uh, steak stuff or cow or whatever. Hey, the world's the world's I've only had like four animals. Yeah, there's like so much out there. So many curious little rodent type animals that they might be good. Their testicles might be delicious, you know. And thankfully, <laughs> there's a site where the guy's like, you want some rat testicles? I'll send them to you. I don't give a shit. Oh, I yeah. fucking hate animals. <laughs> it, <laughs> I love no, this I'm guy's fucking hate This em. guy has a character arc like a fucking comic book villain. Like he went from yeah. vegetarian to like, I'll sell you whatever <laughs> testicles you want from whatever animal. I don't care if it's begging for its life. I'll send it to you. I don't fucking care. I don't care what age it is. I don't care. <laughs> Do you want it pre-crucified in, in the packaging? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll make it look funny. Yeah. I'll desecrate. <laughs> and then I like that they've got like seafood. Eel. Ooh. <laughs> real rare. Get that at any sushi store and it is delicious. Shark meat, though, that's kind of cool. Yeah. It's probably not that hard to come across either, though. No, seafood I, of the Month Club. I think it's kind of like just cartilage y. Yeah. Yeah. I, I honestly bet a lot of these suck ass. What do you guys want? What do you guys want? They, my kids are at the fucking window just going like, yeah. What's he doing in there? He's dressed up all funny. What do you want? So this, is, so this is a scam, dude. Wild pigeon meat, two birds not dressed for 50 bucks. Yeah. You want to eat a pigeon that bad? Go outside. You know, go to a city. Yeah. The big net. You could probably get 20 of those. Hold on a second. I got to do some justice. Uh, excuse me. Can I help you?
Okay, dude. <sighs> Are you getting called to the real world? No, I'm not. It's, uh, but, you, you know, I make a fool out of myself online all day, every day. Uh, but my in-laws don't exactly, like, they're still like, what the fuck exactly do you do? <laughs> Yeah. Like you buy, you buy like you bought a house for the for my daughter. That's nice and everything. You provide for the, my grandkids. That's nice and everything. But I still I do have limits, and the limit I'm going to draw is having my blinds open and have my in laws in the backyard looking at me dressed as Gambit, yeah. <laughs> talking to a guy that looks like you, yeah, going fair. like. Doo, 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 doo. So I went and closed my blinds. I was like <laughs> my shame blinds. I went and closed them. <laughs> I had a dream last night that we were recording the podcast and there were, we were doing it in person. There was an extra chair and my mom walked in the room and was like, I just want to see you guys what you do real quick. And we were both like, out, get out. Like no one in here while we're recording. She got very upset in the dream. She, that was so mean. I'm like, you can't fucking pee. Yeah, like if I you can't record with you watching me. If someone's in the room, they're going to be a part of it. That's how you yeah. make it less embarrassing. They're going. I'm going to drag them into it. That that seat's going to be pulled into camera view. Well, my dream version of you just went out. Get out. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. What well, we were a little harsh. <laughs> In hindsight, I woke up. I was like, we could have been a little bit nicer about how we kicked her out. You know, she just she was just curious. <laughs> but in the dream, I was like, what the? F She's gonna. I can't let her watch me like this. You know, <laughs> like am I must bear. <laughs> It's okay if thousands of strangers do, but yeah. the people I, I love in the world. <laughs> yeah, uh, seeing it live? No, that's They have horrific. a certain image of me that I need to maintain <laughs> so that I yeah. keep getting respect. Yeah, which is, and uh, then, you, the second, and then yeah. you turn around and go back home and go, uh, skip it easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, at least they yeah, respect totally. me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the ruse of me being a... Kind of a suave gentleman and still maintains. Yep. Pretty, pretty cool. Ah, the mystery man <laughs> return. Oh, uh, shit. God, I'm really fucking hungry. Yeah. I'm, well, it's honestly, really it's 515. I'm going to go get some dinner. <laughs> what, you eating rat? <laughs> no, Squirrel? not today. Not today. Uh, I am about yeah. to send a very strongly worded email to that guy. You kind of <laughs> reminded me. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see where the fuck hey man, my I'm gonna care is. how you get it. <laughs> I don't care. I don't Nutria care if it's a baby. Just sounds Nutria. like <laughs> I'm Nutria sounds like a yogurt company or something. Like Soylent. Like doesn't sound like an animal. What Nutria? Yeah. Yeah. Did you look sounds, them up? <laughs> yeah, nutritious. You see what they look? like? I mean, they they just look like uh, beavers or capybaras or something. I think he has capybaras. Semi aquatic. Too. Is Nutria a rat or beaver, people often ask. It's even better. Neither. It's both. <laughs> it's like a hybrid. Yeah. Anyways, guys, we have to thanks for okay. watching. Yeah, thanks, guys. This was a Halloween-themed episode, yeah. kind of. We'll see you guys for the next one. Also, keep a lookout on the patron. Yeah, keep a lookout. We're going to post a little if bit of something. If you're a patron, it'll be, some, it'll be a little something. Uh, it'll be a little... Audience participation next episode. Mm -hmm. Actually, by the time this one's posted, it'll probably already be posted on the Patreon. But so. guys, participate because we're going to make something out of it. Trust me. Yeah, yeah. we always do. Uh, all right. Later. <laughs>